letter was sent from the Wulomo's office to the police that a ceremony was uh, taking place. The letter went, I think, on Friday, which is Good Friday. So it's, it's a public notification given, so it doesn't look like any secret thing. Uh, Meanwhile, the marriage has received public condemnation. Executive Director of the Child's Rights International, Bright Appear, has charged the appropriate state agencies to investigate the issue and report and protect the rights of the child. And if to the extent that it, it, it is a child who is uh, the age is around 12, uh, which for us, we think that it doesn't sit well within our laws, it doesn't sit well with the protection of our children, it doesn't sit well in, the, in protecting the dignity of our children. So, on his part, the paramount chief of the Simpe area, who is also the Mankralu of the Ga state, Ni Odote Otinto II, says the act is not right and must be condemned by right thinking members of society. In my social media, the viral video of Bobu Wulomo taking a 12-year-old girl as a customer wife is condemnable and must not be encouraged. You heard the Prime Chief of Simpe. And in the news of six with me, Hannah Odami. But you find all these stories and more when you log on to myjoyonline.com. As you enjoy your holidays, do well to pass by the car park of Joy FM because the Adum Fufu party is ongoing there. Do have a great morning. Ah, you know, Papa, see that? And it's Ricky Tika. Hey, Papa! Papa! Papa! Papa! <laughs> ah, Bobo, so how your engine now? It is half man, half amazing. Thanks to cause and you can feel better energy. Okay, touch this. Actually, guys, so Sancho's engine just died like that. Yes, so somebody managed to convince him that there is a better engine oil than quartz. And he switched. Ah, Sancho Panza now, which engine oil can be better than quartz? No other, my guy. Quartz with its age resistant technology, it keeps your engine yoga for longer. Yoga. Yoga. Yoga. <laughs> now, you know, have you guys seen the new bottle design? It's superb. Quartz 9000 from Total Energy's DA improves fuel efficiency. Why do you think Mr. Mane and Logoso have taken the quartz nation movement World Cup hey, like that? Mr. Mane, hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Chema, no money. Chema, hey, Chema! Quartz, keep your engine younger. For longer, we can't touch. Only miss it. Bank at your service. We've got what you need for your business and family. Whatever you need, you can call on us. Only miss it. Bank. Only miss it. Millennium Insurance has enhanced its motor insurance policy cover to make life more comfortable for you, our valued clients, and in the event of vehicle breakdown whilst on the road. To ensure your safety and that of your vehicle, Millennium Insurance will ensure that your broken down vehicle is towed to a safe place within one hour of call and 30 kilometers radius from the place of breakdown. The service is absolutely free. Millennium Insurance, your trustworthy partner, is on standby to be of service to you. Contact us now on 0501-394-997 or 0501-285-821, 0501-394-997 or 0501-285-821. Millennium Insurance, your trustworthy partner. 
Hello, Auntie Araba. Hey, Boga, how are you doing today? I want to buy Pepsodent Cavity Fighter, but I don't have enough money. Oh. So what are you going to do? Can you give me the big size? You know, as for me, I'll pay the balance later. Today, no credit. Oh. I haven't sold much this morning. If you don't have enough money for the big size, why don't you try the 120 gram pack? There's a 120 gram pack? Introducing the new Pepsodent Cavity Fighter in 120 gram pack size. More affordable and convenient. Get yours today from any supermarket near you. Every smile matters. This advert is FDA approved. Hello? Yeah, Kofi. Charlie, we spoke about going to Imperial for our motor insurance today. Oh. Shit. Are you the one to remind me? I am at Imperial already. What? I told you about their motor insurance promo, right? Yeah. Ah, this time, it is reloaded, my brother. Wow. Imperial General is saying, uh-huh. come insure with them from now till the end of April and get yourself handsome rewards. Uh-huh. Four coupons, special souvenirs, gift vouchers, and many, many more. And here's the catch. Uh-huh. During this reward period, eh, uh-huh. your motor insurance policy will give you an automatic one year life insurance cover my brother <laughs> and now you can also get brand new ties and other car accessories as well it is really reloaded everybody qualifies just insure your car and you are done hey charlie i hear i can even do it online and still get my reward oh yes don't slow talk to your broker agent or call us on 0577-667-436 for further details you can also follow us on all our socials tcnc supply imperial general assurance Solid protection. Hello? Yo, bro. SG Ghana has done it again. Low interest rates on loans this year too. Yeah, this will be um. Tally, a day to throw inside in. Let me call you back, back. Call SG Ghana rather. Collect loan and buy car, my guy. Low, very low interest rates on loans this year too. It's difficult to keep good news to yourself, especially when it can transform your life and those close to you. SG Ghana went low on interest rates last year, and this year, we are even lower. Yes, Yatisubium. Get the money you need to turn your dreams into a reality. Visit any SG Ghana branch near you and speak to our dedicated staff about the amazing Yatisubium loans today. You can also call 0302-214-314 for more details. Mm. Ocho, it's 3 a.m. What's now? Ya tisubyomo, ya Okay, bye. Societe General Ghana. The future is you. El Giorgio. Anchor. Mm. Could you? Hey, multimedia and Easter. <laughs> we take it personally. You. Uh, mm. I mean. So, uh, right outside the building here, Joy, the Fufu uh, Festival Fufu is about to kick mm. into tim, gear. Tim, tim. <laughs> my goodness. And I, I, on my way in, I mean, they've, they've obviously blocked a the section of the road. Set, They're setting you know. up a stage. People are putting up their staging areas yeah. for their various, yeah. you know, Chop bar setups. And I think it looks like the operators of the various chop bars in town have mm-hmm. actually. Yes, uh, they are exhibiting. Yeah. At the know, Fufu Party. You know that. Yeah, and That's already the, the aromas. It's something else. You hey. know, those who want their cantier and all the rest. Yeah, and their, yeah, yeah, yeah. And their granite too. Mm-hmm. You know, and their There's precursor in the air. You know, and all those things with the nkrumah and the hot pepper. Oh, the George, I don't like this. What are you doing? You know. Eh? And, and so, anytime somebody opens a door, the aroma is going to waft in. One of my friends will say that, you know, he wants to taste the soup that Mokun Otto for him. Oh, why? Mm-hmm, you know, why? What sort of, why, do you, why do you want to waterboard yourself tin, like you're in Guantanamo Bay? That is when he knows that he's taking soup. My word. All those kinds of soups, you no, know, get no, them out there. Me, I like to remain conscious throughout <laughs> the meal. <laughs> <laughs> but I like my goat soup, you mm-hmm, know. Very mm-hmm. hot, yeah. you know. So yeah. <laughs> I'm an Abenquan guy. Um, yeah. Abenquan me pede adachiden. I but to mza ye is is a moon and I dey but to mza is go gare. Translation for George Afi who is George Afi who is going taking us to the central region this morning. <laughs> he likes he likes day old palm nuts. No, and I dey nyo fancy. Which can be used you know, for rice and kenke and other you know, things besides na, fufu. Why a tick kakra? Personally, I like it with fufu. I like it with fufu and uh, mackerel. You know what we call salmon? No. It's actually mackerel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, snails. Uh, maybe you know, some tilapia. Mushrooms. And lots and lots of okra. 
And mushrooms? Yes, I ah. like mushroom too. Cotton yes. and I and pecotton. Uh, not particularly. Epe, epe, Neither of the above. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. So that's happening outside. Also, later today, we're going, Joy is going to the Borstal to celebrate the Easter soup kitchen yeah. with the young boys in that facility. Uh, in Kumase, uh, they are doing their party in the park. Mm. Uh, Love FM party in the park is happening today. Mm. Family party in the park. And families are so excited about it in their Sunday. Uh, you know, whilst you celebrate, there are others out there who are struggling, and mm -hmm. that's the most important thing that yes. during this day we share as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. There are a lot of people out there who are struggling mm. during season, so no doubt it's always the season of giving and yep. sharing. Let's remember those who are not as fortunate. Okay, then. I guess we're good to go, aren't we? Mm. All right. B speaking of gratitude, uh, we are grateful to Total Energies. Total, we go the extra mile for you. And Millennium Insurance, your trustworthy partner, for bringing us the 6 a.m. news. That gratitude continues as we say thank you for the Joy Business Report to Omnibusic Bank at your service. <laughs> Good morning and you welcome to the Easter Monday edition of the Joy Business Report. Coming up, National Petroleum Authority sets price and floor of petroleum product from today as new guidelines that kick in and government engages banks in use of pension funds to support mortgage and financing of housing construction in the country. A universal merchant bank assures public and customers of being on track to recapitalize before the 2025 deadline, despite Bank of Ghana's appointment of an advisor to help this cause. My name is George Yafi. Let's now settle for the details. The National Petroleum Authority will from today be setting the floor for the pricing of petroleum product for each pricing window. By this, no oil marketing company should price below that benchmark. There is more in this report. This was captured in amended guidelines for pricing of petroleum products released by the National Petroleum Authority in a letter dated March 27, 2024 to all the industry players. The guidelines showed at the beginning of each pricing window, the regulator will come out with the floor of benchmark prices for each product versus as part of measures to try and check pricing and undercutting the industry. The new guideline will now require the oil marketing companies to submit their actual prices that they will be displaying on their board at the service station to the National Petroleum Authority a day before instead of the previous regime where they were sending the indicative prices. The industry regulator maintained it will conduct regular price monitoring exercises at retail outlets to ensure that all the players are complying. The oil marketing companies are also required to visibly display the price for all types of petroleum products sold at a retail outlet on their price billboard. The petroleum services providers by various reviews can now change their price every day. However, they are required to notify the National Petroleum Authority a day before. In the past, the advertised price at the service station of oil marketing companies should be the same for all its outlets throughout the country. However, based on these new guidelines, a dealer is now allowed to give a discount of 2% to the price that has been submitted by its oil marketing company. The amendment to the pricing guidelines for the petroleum products showed the oil marketing companies could be fined from 5000 to 20000 for violating specific guidelines from today. According to the National Petroleum Authority, it will not hesitate to sanction any of the players for failing to comply with these new directives. And that is a business tax report. Meanwhile, the African Center for Energy Policy is criticizing the National Petroleum Authority over these new guidelines, insisting it is depriving consumers of lower prices at the pumps. Bemboache is the executive director at the center. Strange, really, to see the regulator uh, take decisions that are really contradictory uh, to what, you know, has become known as a deregulated market. What we actually expected the regulator to do after almost, um, you know, eight years or so of partial deregulation was for them to do a full deregulation where the market actually detects what happened. 
products and they only track uh, abuse of the consumer and also the product quality uh, that comes into the country. But it, it appears the MPA has become more of a business entity, billing the consumer for all manner of levies. I don't know to what purpose they really want to set up a floor. They claim I, this I, I is coming really, from the industry yeah. themselves who have complained about zero's price undercutting. That is why they had to go this way. It doesn't make sense for anybody to even think about product the price undercutting. How does price undercutting happen? Somebody has imported the product. They want to sell the product and make a margin. And if they are saying that to sell that product and make a margin, I have to pay a, sell it at two CDs. And MPA says, no, you, you don't have to sell at two CDs. Sell it at three CDs. Who are they protecting in this case? Bemboati is the executive director of the African Center for Energy Policy and Related Development. Oil marketing companies are expected to review their prices at the pumps from today. It is not clear whether the suspension of the stabilization levy on fuel prices and these new guidelines will impact on prices going forward. It might be a good time to find out how crude oil and other commodities Affairing on the international market this morning, crude oil is going for eighty-seven dollars a barrel, up by almost a dollar from yesterday's trading. The precious metal gold also went up significantly, and it's trading this morning at two thousand two hundred and eighty-one dollars. That is an ounce. Cocoa also went up by slightly, and it's now trading this morning at nine thousand seven hundred and sixty-six dollars. That is a ton. Two other stories, then government is engaging banks on how they can get access to long-term funds to help finance home ownership in Ghana today, as well as the construction. The discussion is looking at how financial institutions can get access to long-term funds to support these two things in the country. Could you appoint Nkrumah as the Minister for Works and Housing? When a contractor needs to find money to put up the building, what is the cost of borrowing? 30%, 40%, 35% per annum? Yeah then that building will not be affordable. Mm. So how do we assist them in bringing down the cost of construction finance? Mm. And as I mentioned, we've been having interactions with the Association of uh, Bankers yeah. to explore ways by which we can reduce the cost of breaking. How do we get a lot more banks to have mortgage products? Mm. They explained to me that part of the challenge is the cost of funds. Yeah. Because if the average cost of funds in the financial sector is what is it, 20%, 25%, mm, 30%. 30%, 30%, and it's only available for six months or nine months, yeah. they are going to have a difficulty in underwriting a 15, 20-year mortgage yeah. um, at anything lower than that 20% and for uh, that tenor yeah. that you are looking for. Yeah. So um, one of the things that they have requested is how we can assist them to crowd in pension funds mm. to underwrite mortgages or to back mortgages. Mm. And already I'm in talks with the employment minister or the minister for pensions to explore how we can assist the financial institutions uh, that way. So minister for Works and Housing, Kojo Opon Nkrumah. The Bank of Ghana has indicated that it is still, still stands by its end-of-year inflation rate target despite the current pressure on the Ghana city and fuel price highs. The central bank is hoping that the country will end the yield inflation rate of 13 to up to 17 percent working within that band. However, recent hikes in fuel prices and pressure on the Ghana city, they are concerned that this target will lose us. But Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison, disagrees. You recognize that we said that the profile has increased uh, a little bit uh, between the last MPC and now. Uh, I don't think that we have yet moved away from this range. We, we still are uh, looking at this range, uh, but it could be that we could end up at the upper end of the range rather than in the middle of 50%. This is the issue of the balance of you know risk uh, by the end of the year. So this is the range. Uh, who knows? We might end some favorable development might okay, which would take us to 13%. So. I don't think it's time yet to revise uh, the target range. Uh, we'll see what happens uh, at the meeting in May. Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Ernest Addison. Universal Merchant Bank, UMB, has assured the public and customers that it is actually on track to recapitalize the new levels 
way before the 2025 deadline set by the Bank of Ghana. Now, this was containing a notice to his customers after the Bank of Ghana announced that it has appointed an advisor to help the bank in meeting the new capital levels and deal with some governance issues. The Investor Merchant Bank and this notice to customers noted that it remains resilient and resolute actually in Raven and also committed to continue working in the best interest of customers as well as the bank. However, noted that the bank appreciated the appointment of Dr. Joseph Franz as an advisor and promised to work with him to recapitalize as soon as possible. The National Communications Authority says it expects full restoration of disrupted subsea cables before the end of next month. It is coming after a meeting with the service providers that have actually revised their timetables and completing their work. The cuts in these cables affected data and internet supplies in the country for more than two days in last month. There had been some ambiguity about the actual timeline that the capsule cables could be back online. Director of the National Communications Authority, Dr. Juan Ochi, has been giving us some fine details on when everything should be back. These are not terrestrial cable. It's not a Kumasi cable. This is buried deep on the seabed. So it, it requires special technical skills. So there are ships that are designed purposely for, for, for this. These ships are not just sitting around. They are not like Uber vehicles that you hold them and then they are there. <laughs> they come from Europe. It takes time for it. Uh, in five weeks, I believe this puts it in maybe third week, third week of April. It could be sooner than that. It could be more than that. We are, we are actually not very sure. Um, but we can report, again, the last bullet, we can report, we can report that the, cape, the, the ships are already on their way to the problem, the problem areas. Director General of the National Communications Authority, Dr. Joe Anachi. Let's talk about the character. And 13 Ghana cities, 25 pesos, should get you a dollar at a commercial bank. Now, that is the average price that they are quoting when it comes to transactional rates offering to their retail clients. However, when it comes to the Forex Bureau, 13 Ghana cities, 60 pesos. That is what is on offer when it comes to selling to you a dollar. The British pound is going for 17 Ghana cities. The euro, on the other hand, selling at 14 Ghana cities, 60 pesos. And that's all uh, for the Easter Monday edition of the Joy Business Report. And could you, today something interesting is happening. Mm -hmm. you know, the National Petroleum Authority is saying that going forward, they would determine the, the floor or the benchmark that prices should be sold in this country. And below that benchmark, no operator or OMC can go below that. And that's that is fascinating. Be, that because some will say that we are in the uh, price deregulation sector so allow mm. the players to determine their prices but they also claim that you know the cereals price and the cutting and all the rest interesting except disagrees with the authority thinking that you are rewriting the rules when it comes to the whole Indeed. price deregulation but and also as part of these new guidelines could you these OMCs within the week even within the window can change their prices so don't wait for those two weeks to see prices this at the is, pumps this is fascinating so so really as a cust as a consumer the regulator is telling you now that he, he, the regulator is going to determine just how cheap your fuel can go yeah they will determine yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it can't get cheaper than what they say. Be because the claim is mm. that some players are undercutting. But just Does what that not completely defeat that, the point you know, of, of competition the consumer, driving down yeah, the price? Yeah, because consumers benefit from yeah, absolutely. Prices, you know, It's interesting how things will pan out in the coming days as part I mean, of this. Will any, will mm. any OMC reduce the price to the point where they don't make money? Interesting, yeah. You see, and, and some have they? already already seen, just like what Ben Boachi says, maybe it's targeting some individuals who have priced so low, they're doing it's, so well, yeah, they've shut up from nowhere to a top rank it's oil marketing company. And, and that is a problem? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll keep an eye on that development. Very interesting there. George, thanks for that. And I guess we're going to meet somewhere in the courtyard around uh, yeah. Big Bull. Doing fufu. our team team. That's and right. And you're, and you're, you're meeting him right now. And chewing our pork. And chewing our pork. Before the fufu. It's a must chew. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, I've uh, been sanctified by oh, the Lord Jesus Christ. But we have Jesus talked about Christ. that yeah. Yeah. already. And how can you call <laughs> Christians of God unclean? How? <laughs> you know, I woke up very early this morning. And I don't know, for some reasons, I was going through my Christian beliefs hey. 
Oh yes, what a way to what start a way your day. To start your day. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, and uh, I remember telling, saying to myself that, well, I believe in a lot of things. Mm. Of course, I have my own concerns about paying tights. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Yes. Uh -huh. I believe, <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I'm going to say the most controversial part. I disagree with the two of you. On I yeah, don't believe sure. that pastoring a church should be a full-time job. Hey. hey, but where is this thing coming from? Uh, it, it needs some dedication to. Leave yes, no. I said I, said I just woke up this morning. You know, I woke up very early, mm -hmm. and I was thinking about all of these things. Well, mm -hmm. are you thinking about going that way very soon? I don't know. Yeah. I haven't thought about that. I do not I, think I, maybe they're calling. And, and, and is this your belief grounded in anything scriptural? Yeah. You see, let me tell you something. Mm. The whole idea, you know the whole idea of tithing. Yes. <laughs> now, the whole idea of tithing starts from the fact that the Levites mm -hmm. did not have any land. Mm. And so, because they didn't have land, when the others cultivated, they were supposed to make available 10% of their produce not only to the priest, but also to the Levites, mm -hmm. the homeless, and the people who do not have these. Mm -hmm. Over time, we have made it look like when you earn your money, you go and pay 10% to your pastor or your I, religious I, I, leader. I, I don't think that the argument is about to your pastor. Well, because... because I, I, I, it's, I, I, honestly, it makes no difference well, whether it's to your pastor you're, you're, or to your you're, church. You're, you're, you're not to the church. To the church. God's business. Okay, you're supporting, you're supporting the kingdom God's business. business. You see, and if you see it as a relationship, if you see it as if it's, it's if not I, about if I, doctrines, but you see, also because I think it's somewhere in Hebrew. I will, I will call my friend who sent it to me years ago. <laughs> he said because the priesthood has changed, mm -hmm. so have the laws concerning the priesthood also changed. Okay, now. What were the laws concerning the priesthood? And I'm sure Kojo will read from Deuteronomy, which says that if uh, from where you are to the temple where you are supposed to present your produce at, uh, is too far, mm -hmm. the Lord God permits you. So, to, yes, you, you, I you will want to read, read that, from read Deuteronomy that, read chapter 14. This is uh, quite... 14. And by the way, I, I invite all <laughs> Christians and all... Mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? All um, Believers, uh, theologians, theologians and students of the Bible and professors of theology to uh, scour through their Bible and tell me if there is any verse or chapter apart from the one I'm going to read mm. which describes in detail how a tithe must be paid. Mm. So there are many, many references to tithes in the Bible. Mm. They Both tell you, old and yes, the New some of them tell you what will happen if you don't pay your tithes. Some of them talk about a story of someone paying his tithes. So many different stories, mm. right? But this is the only one that describes the, the process by which a tithe is to be paid. According and this is God speaking. Oh, okay. oh, so that's why I'm inviting, you okay. know, anyone who knows yeah. different yeah. Yeah. to, you know, certainly uh, share with us. So I'm reading Deuteronomy chapter 14, mm -hmm. verse 22. Okay. 22 to maybe 29. All right. That should do it. Now, this passage is titled Tithes okay. in the uh, NIV. Be sure to set aside a tenth. Of all that your fields of produce, uh, that all of all that your fields produce each year, eat. This is twenty-three. Eat the tithe of your grain, new wine and olive oil, and the firstborn of your herds and flocks, in the presence of the Lord your God, at the place He will choose as a dwelling for His name. So that you may learn to revere the Lord your God always. Please, the word there was eat. And mm. in every version of the Bible, it's eat. No, mm. no different translation in any version. It's always eat. Mm. 24. But if that place is too distant and you have been blessed by the Lord your God and cannot carry your tithe because the place where the Lord would choose to put his name is so far away. 25. Then exchange your tithe for silver and take the silver with you and go to the place the Lord your God will choose. Mm. 26. Use the silver to buy whatever you like. Cattle, sheep, 
wine, or other fermented drink, or anything you wish. Then you and your household shall again eat there in the presence of the Lord your God and rejoice. 27. And this is where Winston's point comes in. And do not neglect the Levites living in your towns, for they have no allotment or inheritance of their own. 28. At the end of every three years, bring all the tithes of that year's produce, which means the fourth year's produce, or the third year, actually, end of every three years. So the third year's produce. Bring all the tithes of that year's produce and store it in your towns. Mm. 29. So that the Levites, who have no allotment or inheritance of their own, and the foreigners... The fatherless and the widows who live in your towns may come and eat and be satisfied. And so that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. Mm. So in essence, a tithe is to be eaten. Either well, by well, you, I, well, well, either well, by it, you it, it, it depends on or the your, Levites yeah. or the widows mm. or the foreigners or the fatherless. Could you? Let me let me I, read I, I, let me I, I, read I, I, Hebrews I, I, for you. I, I, I think that the, the Bible. Well, I want to read Hebrews before you, continue, no, before you continue. Let me read for, Hebrews for you. Yeah, no, let right. me read Hebrews. Hebrews chapter seven. I'm reading from verse ten. My very good friend Ernest who sent this to me years ago. When I, you know, I years ago interviewed Kumchacha. I was on three FM. Then he said that Tyson is off with That's why he said that Yedi. Tight, no, it's awful, dear. <laughs> if you like, I'll bring back that uh, audio. Mm. It says, because when Melchizedek met Abraham, Levi was still in the body of his ancestor. If perfection could have been attained through the Levitical priesthood, and indeed the law given to the people established that priesthood, why was there still need for another priest to come, one in the order of Melchizedek, not in the order of Aaron? This is the critical one. For when the priesthood is changed, the law must be changed also. He of whom these things are said belong to a different tribe. And no one from the tribe has ever served at the altar. For it is clear that our Lord descended from Judah. In, in, in regard to that tribe, uh, Moses said nothing about priests. What am I driving at? The key word here, or the key phrase says, when, since the priesthood has changed the laws must also change. Mm. And it is the reason if you go to one of the churches, I don't have their permission to mention their name, but they say that they do not believe in tithing because they have not seen it in, even in the New Testament. When you... I, I, you're, you're, you're not mentioning, but I, I think that, listen, the Bible well, I, don't, I, I don't have their permission to mention their name. The if basis I, if you, if you the for a lot of things. The Holy Spirit guides us to do a lot of things. If mm -hmm. you want to go to just restricting yourself to the text. There are some who argue that tithe is an Old Testament thing. No. Tithe, yeah, yeah. See, so, so, so I don't, coming, I don't even you, you, you, I don't I, I, even I, I, argue I that see, tithing is Old Testament too. I'm just arguing that, that, that, that the way it is described is not how we it, do it. It is, it is a relationship with God. No, and if it you, is no, a, I, I it is want a to process believe it as a relationship described with no. word for could word could you, in you, the Bible. You, you put your own interpretation Yo. on no, that word. No, I read I the am Bible. Saying that. No George, interpretation. George, stay with us. Stay with no, us. I, stay with us. Stay with us. We'll go for our inspirational song. Let's we are go here with for George. our inspirational song. George is staying with us. We're getting into this. And you are certainly a part of this. Let's have this conversation at Easter. Stay with us. Here's Carl Clotte with Nkunim.
Already things are heating up with quite a debate for those of you who are Christians. Uh, it's all around um, whether or not uh, you know we should have any such thing as full time priests, right? Full time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, I was thinking mm -hmm. this morning. I felt that um, you know pastoral work. Uh, there's a pastor I know in Takra, the Reverend Bama Jokum. Um, he works. He has his own church, but he works. All his pastors also work. Mm -hmm. He says that don't come and uh, stand here that be a soft and one and go to work. Mm. Uh, when I over the weekend come, let's preach the word of God. Interesting. Uh -huh. Well, this is also giving birth to another conversation because I mean, uh, you know that in order to run a church, especially a successful church, uh, you know the the members need to make it happen. And one of the ways that happens is through tithing. And that has brought back the old debate about tithing. And this is one this is one that we've had on the show before. If you missed it, well, we're gonna bring it back because it, it's something that needs to be clarified. What does the Bible say a tithe is? How does the Bible say we must pay tithe? And is it in any way related to what we do in church? today george joins us he feels very strongly about it just as we do and we're going to be getting into that uh, on the show but first uh, let's get into our drive safe campaign brought to us by john News and the multimedia group and supported by toyota superior quality and imperial general assurance solid protection you know what to do it's easter monday and i know there are many of you who'd want to you know visit family visit friends but please be careful on the road mm. and please and please don't drink and drive no if you know you have any plans of drinking, please don't drive. Get, you know, one of these, um, you know, uh, commercial vehicles to take you around. Mm -hmm. At least you know that you'll be safe. You can Uber. enjoy yourself as well. Oh. Yes. Do these ride hailing. Ride hailing. Yes, yes, yes. Hail yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes, yes. a ride. And Hail a ride. ride. <laughs> get, get one of them to drive <laughs> you around. I mean, yes, yes. Uh, I know they will, be, they will not be so happy that you are chilling and leaving them. But hey, that's our life. It's got to be sometimes. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's learn how to say it right. It's brought to you by Kingdom Books at Kingdom. Quality and affordability are their hallmarks. And Societe Generale Bank Ghana, the future is you. Something must be done. You say either. I say either. Today is the 1st of April, so say it right will be very simple. A P R I L. April. Not April. And not April. April. Now, what does the word April actually mean? This is a question that unlocks a centuries-old mystery. April used to be the second month in the Roman calendar and was known as Aprilis. Some believed it to be from the word April, which was the Etruscan version of Aphrodite, but others believe it to have come from the Latin Aperire, which meant to open because April is when the buds of leaves and flowers start to open. Nobody has been able to pin down the true origins of the word April, but today we can certainly pin down the proper way to pronounce it. And it is not April or April. It's April. That is how you say it right. All right, then, let's get into the news review brought to us by Syntex Tanker, your stronger, your tough, and Enterprise Insurance at 100. Yap Vinye promotion, celebrating our legacy, securing your future. But I'm sure we can get straight into the online news review uh, because we, we might as well. Yes. It's brought to us by Zenith Bank in your best interest. Goyle Good Energy and G&J Technical Services, celebrating 30 years of providing backup power in Ghana. And Goyle PLC, your CMG Hall of Fame and 2022 Petroleum. Uh, company of the year is taking the lead again. Goal has opened ultra modding liquefied petroleum auto gas service stations. Now, the modding auto gas service, service is safe, clean, and offers affordable alternative fuel for your vehicle. Look out for the Goal auto gas station in the following areas the Burma Camp Goal service station in Accra, Beshi Goal service station in Accra, Pedu Junction Goal service station in Cape Coast, and Pinton Golf service station Takrade, Kenton Chrono Goal station in Kumase, Goal delivering the safest and affordable gas at your convenience. Goal, good energy, Goal. Yeah, it is. 
Okay, let's see what's on my journal. Uh, uh, uh, before we go there, Zenith Bank's Fun Form promo is on. You can sign up for a free Zenith MasterCard between now and April 30. Uh, so the whole month of April you can do this, okay? At any Zenith Bank branch nationwide and enjoy up to two free deliveries each month uh, when you use your card on Glovo uh, between now and October 20, 2024. Now with the Zenith MasterCard, you can conveniently make everyday purchases on a point-of-sale device, withdraw funds, from ATMs and pay for goods and services online. Get your free Zenith MasterCard from the nearest Zenith Bank branch today and enjoy this amazing offer. Go to zenithbank.com.gh for more information. Terms and conditions apply. Zenith Bank in your best interest. So, uh, oh, this is interesting. Power outages destroy UPS and several medical equipment at Konfanochi Teaching Hospital. Okay, um, that's interesting actually. Yeah, something I mean, we need to really discuss. Good, I mean, we've talked about this, and you know, so for instance, if these we had clear plans, we will go off at this time. Now, where you know, we actually issue statements all the time, and uh, we indicate that the following areas because Gridco has actually decided, I mean, it's supplying less power uh, to certain areas, uh, those areas mm -hmm. are expected to go off. Uh, that's the new approach that has been adopted. So consistently you're told, oh, Gridco is um, reducing power to this place. Gridco is reducing supply. Gridco is reduced supply. But, but Winston, I've asked myself, you know all these things, where is Gridco? Because yes, ECG, but it appears that, listen, the real issue is about Gridco. Yeah, and they, no they, statement been, from they, them They have been silent on, on in the situation with the grid. In terms mm. of supply and all, mm. and they are the the main people who should be telling us they the manage the national grid. So it's surprising, yes, and yeah. I, I stand to be educated. Mm -hmm. Where is Gridco? Where is Gridco? I'm going to tell you shortly. But so, for <laughs> instance, they tell you, oh, the Electricity Company of Ghana wishes to inform our cherished customers and the general public that the Ghana Grid Company has reduced power supply to. This is one that came up on uh, 30. came out on the 30 uh, on the 28th to a smelter two box supply point, resulting in outages in the following areas. Now you issue this thing to me in, in the morning. <clears throat> you don't tell me, for instance, at what time it goes off, okay? And at what time it will be restored. So I don't know. All I know is that there'll be you know, <clears throat> uh, uh, power outages in these mm. areas. And that's the end of it. Now, you've asked a question. In all this, where's Great Co? George, uh, you are a very intelligent man. And I know it is obvious that you know that somebody just doesn't want to give us a timetable for us to know or for us to say we've returned to the Dunso days. That's the whole problem. We just don't... Because, look, I have done my checks. I have checks, uh, sources my, within Great Co. It's obvious that even when it comes to gas supply, we're falling short of by some 50 million standard cubic feet of gas. So Gridco actually informs the electricity company of Ghana. They know. But Gridco in the past have comes out to inform the public about some of the developments. What is stopping Gridco now from coming out to inform us that this is our current situation when it comes to supply. Okay. And because of that shortfall, it could actually impact on power supply. But I'm just saying that I don't I don't know in terms of the communication where that lies. You have to rather communicate with ECG. But what is stopping them to come out and explain to us that we are having a shortfall in generation from the distributors or from the, the generators and all the rest. And because of that, it could impact on power supply going forward the for moment, this period. The moment, and you see, this is the, uh, you're, you're, you're, you're I, definitely I, I right. think, listen, Winston, we've gone beyond whether we are in doing so or not. Every Ghanaian out there is very descendant. And I think that when we lose sight when we think that some people are not. They are every Ghanaian out there is the, descendant. The and they know what is happening. We don't need a government communicator to tell us whether we are in doing so or not. So I think we've moved past that, that, that argument. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's move on. People deserve to know that because of this challenge, this is the struggle you're going to experience. And basic, like Kojo would say, basic producer customer relations actually enforces but that. You see, and for, uh, so, you're, you're, no, so no, George, for, you see, you're very playing right. on semantics no. and George, where there'll be George, you're very listen, right. I agree with you. Unfortunately, our problem is that whoever is working in these companies, one okay is not willing to tell you and that's it they don't want to tell you 
Anyway, um, let's go for the BBC News. We'll come back. We'll come back and uh, you know, talk about this. Well, BBC News is brought to us by Fidelity Bank. Believe with us. Old Mutual. Ten years of greatness in Ghana. Here for a lifetime. For decades, we have helped businesses connect with their trade partners all over the globe, from Ghana to Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Benin, Togo, Senegal, China, Morocco, France. Netherlands and many other countries. We have made it possible to bring Ghana to the world. We have brought small and medium businesses closer to their customers across the regions in Ghana with our SME support facilities. We have brought relief and smiles to the faces of families with our employee personal loans. With our cutting edge technology and digital support, we take the burden of complex thinking off you making life simple that is who we are as close as a partner bank of africa we are indeed the african bank with the global reach good energy powers the things that people do to empower themselves it fuels families communities businesses Good energy fuels nations. It gets things going and keeps them moving. Good energy isn't just what we do, it's who we are. Goyle, good energy. And that's why I choose Goyle. I'm a Zuma Nelson, three times world boxing champion and a patriot. Coming up after the news from the BBC World Service, it's Hard Talk with me, Stephen Sacker. When the US Supreme Court overturned the Roe versus Wade decision establishing a woman's right to an abortion, it looked as though America's so-called right to life campaigners were winning. Now, well, it's not so certain. The conservative movement is split on just how far anti-abortion legislation should go. Opinion polls suggest most Americans don't believe abortion should be outlawed. And some Republicans fear this could be a vote loser. My guest is Lila Rose, described as one of the fiercest anti-abortion activists in America. Human life doesn't begin at birth. The science is clear it begins before. And if we believe that human rights are universal, that they're inalienable, that they're for all humans, then that must extend to children even before birth. That's Lila Rose on Hard Talk after the news. Hello, I'm Emily Thomas with the BBC News. The Israeli military says it's completed its operation against Hamas at Gaza's biggest hospital, Al Shifa. The World Health Organization says 21 patients have died since the siege began. From Jerusalem, here's Yoland now. After two weeks of intense gun battles and Israeli airstrikes, Palestinian witnesses say that Israeli tanks and armoured vehicles streamed out of Gaza City's large medical complex in the darkness. The Hamas-run health ministry says they left behind dozens of bodies, while locals say nearby residential areas have been razed. Last night, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said a Shifa hospital had become a terrorist lair and that Israeli forces surprised Hamas with precise and surgical action there. Hundreds of Israeli protesters have spent the night in tents outside Parliament in Jerusalem to press their demand for the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, to step down. They accuse him of mishandling the response to the Hamas attacks of nearly six months ago and want elections to be called. On Sunday, tens of thousands of demonstrators took part in what they said was the biggest anti-government demonstration since the war in the Gaza Strip began. Mr Netanyahu argues that holding elections now would paralyse Israel for months. The Turkish president has described his party's worst ever defeat in Turkey's local elections as a turning point. Recep Tayyip Erdogan acknowledged that the AK party had lost ground and he promised not to act against the national will. Opposition supporters have been celebrating. Onur Arem reports. This is the first time the main opposition party, CHP, has led in the local elections since President Erdogan's party came to power in 2002. The result in Istanbul is a clear win for the leading opposition figure, Ekrem Imamoglu. 
giving him his second term as mayor. In his speech, Mr. İmamoğlu said this was not only an important win for Istanbul and Turkey, but also for the Western world, showing that the advancement of the authoritarian regimes can be reverted by elections. Germany has legalized cannabis as the government tries to tackle the black market trade in the drug. The new policy is a watered-down version of what was originally planned under the German government's coalition agreement. Our Berlin correspondent Jessica Parker reports. Adults can now carry up to 25 grams of cannabis for personal use. That's enough for dozens of joints. People can also grow up to three marijuana plants at home. But smoking the drug within 100 metres of schools or sports centres is forbidden. As of July, not-for-profit cannabis social clubs can be set up to grow and distribute the drug. Club members cannot be tourists or visitors. They must live in Germany. The new rules are contentious, partly because of health concerns, but there's also disagreement over whether the changes will curb or further fuel the black market. BBC News. The opposition leader in Venezuela has told supporters there's still time for her or another opposition candidate to stand in elections against President Nicolas Maduro. In a video message, Marina Karina Machado said the president could not choose who he would stand against in July. Ms Machado has been barred from taking part and a candidate endorsed by her, Karina Yoris, was blocked from registering last week. The US military says it's destroyed another two drones belonging to the Iranian-backed Houthi movement in Yemen. A statement by US Central Command said one was shot down over the Red Sea, the second was destroyed on the ground in Yemen. It stressed that drones posed an imminent threat to shipping in the region. Official figures from China suggest the world's second largest economy is showing tentative signs of recovery. The National Statistics Bureau says factory output is slightly up for the first time in six months. It could be an indication that China's post-pandemic slowdown may be starting to ease. Here's our Asia business reporter, Nick Marsh. This is some rare positive news for China's policymakers as the country battles one of its worst economic slowdowns in modern times. Although the growth in manufacturing is modest, there are signs that business and consumer confidence is improving. But there are still problems ahead for the world's second largest economy. Growth is low compared to recent years. Unemployment among young graduates is high and the multi-billion dollar property sector remains in a profound crisis. One of Hong Kong's best-known independent bookstores has closed its doors for the last time as freedom of expression in the territory comes under further pressure. Hundreds of well-wishers went to Mount Zero Books on its final day. The owners blamed the closure on a large number of inspections carried out by the authorities in response to anonymous complaints. They said they'd received an avalanche of letters from the government department about alleged infringements of various regulations. BBC News. Welcome to Hard Talk from the BBC World Service. What name brightens the streets, homes and businesses of Ghana? What company has been providing world-class backup power to Ghanaians for 30 years? G&J Technical Services. Final answer? Yes, G&J Final Answer. Hmm. Correct. G&J is celebrating 30 years of providing backup power in Ghana. As the largest supplier of world-class generators in the country, we have been the backbone of Ghana's alternative power industry by delivering the best sales, maintenance and after-sales solutions the nation has ever seen. We've done it for 30 years and we promise that the future will be even brighter. Reach us in Accra on 030-268-9178 or 9179 and 020-222-2204 all the way to 2220. And in Kumasi on 020-222-236 or 020-222-2220. When the pain is too much, don't know what else to do. So who knows what else to do? Rapping now, rapping now, we'll take the pain away. Rapping now, rapping now, we'll take the pain away. Rapping now, rapping now, we'll take the pain away. Rapinol is what you need. Rapinol will relieve you of all aches and pain in your body. Rheumatic pain, menstrual pain, body pain, toothaches, and other feverish conditions. Rapinol is a quality product from Danex Itin Star and PLC. Rapinol. 
If symptoms persist after 48 hours, consult a physician. Not suitable for children below 16 years old, asthmatic and also patients. This advert is FDA approved. Dear business owner, congrats on not giving up on your business. You deserve a medal and your business deserves to be taken to the next level. In fact, it's about time you run a Zenith Bank SME account so you and your business can enjoy the perks of the Zenith SME business card. Oga and Oga Madam status. <laughs> The Zenith SME Business Card is a Visa debit card for making secure payments for goods and services. Enjoy great benefits such as free customized digital SME training, free marketing toolkits, access to Visa practical skills training, and more. Unlock the potential of your business today. Visit any Zenith Bank branch nationwide and sign up for the Zenith SME Business Card, the ultimate payment solution for SMEs. For more information, visit www.zenithbank.com.gh or call 0302 Eight zero eight eight four or zero three zero seven zero eight six three seven zero Zenith Bank in your best interests. Great news is here. Batmat is here again. XXL Clarence Sale. Guaranteed savings. From now till the end of April, the big sale continues. Get discounts of up to 70% off sanitary words, light tiles, waterproofing, and all other product families. It's the year to get things done. Visit our showroom at the North Industrial Area next to the Winners Chapel, Ghana. Don't miss out. Batmat, welcome home there are some classy celebrations that call for whipping out your favorite china sets same goes for your luxury vehicle just any engine oil won't do premium understands premium best the new shell helix ultra 0 w20 sp with carbon neutral properties is the one for your premium car it's a fully synthetic motor oil designed using the shell pure plus technology prevents dirt buildup with exceptional cleaning power leaving your pistons cleaner than a whistle up to 50 percent more than the industry standard and gives you stronger long-lasting engine performance so if you want your classic car to run smoothly like a Ferrari for years to come. Use the Shell Helix Ultra 0W20 SP with carbon neutral properties. Shell Helix Ultra 0W20 SP, designed for ultimate engine performance. It's the most action packed breakfast show in town. The hottest music, the best giveaways, the great interviews, and all the laughter and fun you can imagine. Don't miss the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.7 the best breakfast show in town.
Easter is Eastering mm. on the Super Morning Show. Yeah, and yeah. of course, uh, we've, we've kidnapped George. We have to join us in a nice <laughs> theological <laughs> debate, which you are all participating in already. I can see your text messages and tweets coming through. It's interesting for us to, you know, explore and test the boundaries of uh, our faith, right? But yes, but George is not mm-hmm. uh, answering the other. The other question is that I said I don't think that <laughs> being a pastor should be a full time job. That one too. <laughs> <laughs> there are portions you of see, it that, that, that, that, no, you made the point, mm-hmm. that requires the part-time bit. Uh-huh. There are other portions of it that also requires the full-time bit. So some of them must be part-time pastors? No, I mean, the whole body work, you mm-hmm. understand me? It's not just about the preaching on Sundays. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of things that happen okay. during the week and everything mm-hmm. that requires sometimes someone dedicated. And that's Should why that person be a pastor or can he be a clerk? Well, at a point in time, maybe... Be, you may need to be a pastor. Why? Ah, you see, somebody says, do you know that the Baptist church in Edmonton's pastor is a full-time worker at the airport and only takes allowance? Mm. The church tried increasing his allowance, but he refused. Mm. But this is the point. Edmonton. Yes, Where? Edmonton. Mm-hmm. Edmonton in, in London. In London. London. Oh, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. So sorry. this is what but I... They have several people that are oh, working oh, oh, under I mean, him. Is he, so he takes that allowance. might be normal he, people. I was actually getting to the other point. Mm. So while I was thinking about all of these things, uh, you know, around 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Mm. You, you do asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I, I realized that the Church of Pentecost, mm. they have presiding elders. Yeah. Now, the presiding elders actually pastor churches. Mm. Okay? The presiding elders, so they have the elders, they have the deacons and the deaconesses. And the presiding elder, so when I was in Ho, for instance, at the Church of Pentecost, Mali Estate Assembly in those days, I don't know how it's called now, we had a presiding elder, Brass Stanley, and the presiding elder would preach. If he doesn't preach, uh, those who know Elder Piasa, Bra Piasa, who set up the prayer grounds or prayer camps in the Church of Pentecost, would also preach at the mm-hmm. time. Once a while, you would have a pastor coming in there to mm. preach but the pastor was at the but, central assembly. but that might be a, a, a smaller congregation but that's why say. i am saying what? that but that's why i'm saying that if it was doable at that time where Bra stanley who was a presiding but, but, but winston the fact oh, that no, I'm, a certain I'm, I'm, denomination I'm not done. believes oh, I'm, I'm that no i'm coming just a quick one well, I'll, I'll lose my no you thought. you not lose it believe that ah, this is this is the, this is the, lose this, is the, lose. this is the path we have to go and then you can you can that respond, should not be George. the standard for everyone Thank because there are some who believe that George, listen before why don't you let anyone takes the leadership then you respond okay fine yeah no so i am saying that bra piasa hey bra stanley at the time his loss is thought was actually working yeah he was a full-time worker was he at the ghana health service or something i may not remember but I know that he was working. I know that uh, Bra Piasa, until he stopped working, he used to work at GNTDC. Is it a Ghana National Trading yeah, Company? GNTC, yeah. G- Ghana National Trading Company. GNTC, yes. Yeah, Ghana National Trading days, Company. Yeah. Those days, he used to work there. So, you see, so it, I was going through all of these, and I said, ah, is it possible we can do these? So, is it possible that today, all these people, who one of the things they think about the most is becoming a pastor and you know then that's the end of the world can we give them allowances like it's done here i am not saying that when you come and preach we shouldn't give you allowance we should give you allowance then on that note when you come after preaching when we have uh, because you see when we have done the offertory offertory we'll find some for you then we move on but Winston, it doesn't appear to me that sometimes the concern is about the fact that <laughs> money is being taken from a group of people to support someone's work and sometimes i feel that that is the argument here when normally somebody goes to do a work outside somewhere the person is given some money why is it that when it comes to quote the christian work there appears that oh the person should sacrifice the person should not be rewarded and mm. i find that argument very very interesting mm. there are portions of the work that requires a part-time thing there are people who are bankers. There's a bank MD of a big bank that you not advertise here. But he's a reverend minister. Mm-hmm. And he works as an MD of a bank. And he also supports and preaches as a reverend minister. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there are some of the work that requires part-time thing to do it. Uh-huh. But there are certain portions of the work that requires full-time commitment. And therefore, are you prepared? And some of these guys who are doing this thing, 
they've left their jobs that were even paying them more than so, what the kingdom business offers to them so and they've come to do it and therefore if a token is taken just to support the, them the because when that offertory and offering comes into the church the I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not against i'm not talking about something i'm not else. against offering. i'm saying that no, a I'm, fraction I'm, of no, that I'm, is I'm taken the listen Kwame Mensa, you were working in a bank uh, as I a am, treasurer. I am not against Ooh, offering. I think you should let George also finish. You're, you're, you're working in a bank as a treasurer. <laughs> You've let that business, based on your belief, to have a full-time support for the business. Because of that, we are just giving you something to support you up and down. Mm-hmm. This whole argument about why whether she should be paid or not, and somebody is being given a stipend or this thing, mm-hmm. I totally disagree with that one. Okay, so so, so this whole a, a fixation c- sometimes it, it baffles me sometimes a when it comes to a bit about people who believe in a certain faith and how the work of God should be supported. There's no argument about that. A couple of points before Winston comes in. Uh, the first one is that this conversation is about full-time pastorship and tithing, mm. not offering. Okay, yeah. offering as for offering is a it's it's something. That's well, there's, there's to be. a fraction of the title well, that we has are to come we are, with. It. We are not talking okay, about okay, offering okay, at all. Okay, okay. In fact, if somebody wants to give eighty percent of his salary as an <coughs> offering, that's <coughs> up to him. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. his that's his choice and yeah. or her choice, and that's fine. Uh, you d- give. Mm. I mean, uh, in fact, the, as for the law of giving, uh, everyone who gives mm. benefits. Okay, you know. So as for giving, it must happen. Mm. Our concern is what we have named tithe. And what we are insisting that anyone who belongs to this uh, theology or religion mm. or belief must give every month from their salary. According to who? Uh, uh, uh, don't you well, go to church? It's, it's not about what we get. What the don't Bible says. See, let me, let me come please, back to you. Please bear with what me. What the Bible so says. It's not about what we point. think that is tight. George, I think yeah. you should uh, uh, allow me to complete my okay. point. Uh-huh. That is what this debate is about. Okay. It's about a tithe. Mm. What is a tithe and what does the Bible mm. say? How does the Bible say we mm. should pay our tithe? Mm. Okay? That's what this debate is about. It's not about offering. So okay. let's make sure we've separated okay. it. Take as for offering, offering, you can give however much mm. you want as an offering. That one is fine. That's mm. a voluntary decision. No one should come and tell you mm. how you should give your offering. Let's come back to tithe. Mm. You you have a passage yeah. about how I think tithe no, must no, be paid. You, I think that this whole thing okay. about human interpretation, Second Chronicles uh, chapter 31 from 4 to 5, and I'll just read a fraction. It says that, And he commanded the people who live in Jerusalem to give a portion due to the priests and the Levites, that they might give themselves to the law of the Lord. As soon as the command spread abroad, the people of Israel gave in abundance fruits of grain wine oil honey and all the produce of their field and they brought it in abundance the tithe of everything so so so the mm-hmm. whole argument about who should receive the tithe mm-hmm. and what is used for there isn't any ambiguity about that one actually George, the same bible talks about mm-hmm. these priests, are the priests and the levites they they, <coughs> they they they are they are they are the representative of god on earth about the priesthood George. so so this argument about where the tie should go and all the rest, it's not that you're not there. Okay. Because so they are bringing it to the house mm. of God. It could be in whatever form. It could be in money. Let us not box ourselves on this thing that Titan is just about money. George, what you just described, yeah. in uh, you said Corinthians, right? No, no, no, Chronicles. Uh, Chronicles, yeah. forgive me. What you described in Chronicles, yeah. right, is a one-off event. Oh, but I thought we all no, picked. No, allow, no, I, I, thought, I thought we, go, we can we can make, we can go in and me, a quote allow, several. Let me read George, another passage again you to you. Allow me to okay. make my point. Okay, all right. What you described in Chronicles is yeah. a one-off event. Okay, it wasn't a, a, a standing order. Okay, that was made on the people of Israel. Okay, the standing order that was made on the people of Israel. Mm is in deuteronomy chapter 14. but who then determines that that part of the bible me please permit me please permit me permit him to finish okay i would okay so you see when somebody describes an event that happened i don't know who it is that then decides that because this event happened we must all continue to carry out this event Mm -hmm. at whatever frequency we think is Mm -hmm. suitable what i read mm. was an order from god and it was not a one-off event no because mm. he said do it every year mm. 
and the third year do it differently but that is not one of right no because okay. it's telling you to do but it this, every this, year this, this portion of but the bible this, what you described is a one of yes it is a one of George, because you read it yourself <laughs> didn't you interesting did they say did they say that they asked them to do that every year interesting no it's a question what I, you read I, did I, it I say that the they were asked to do that I every the year argument or very not? interesting no if but this one say is that, not a one-off but, but this is a one-off but that is quite clear i can quote several it's quite clear. S- several passages from the bible it is quite clear that what you read we was a one-off we event we that we you read we, we are talking about okay, what the um, bible you says you know what let's let's acknowledge when our it partners. Comes. we'll come back we're <laughs> not done we're not done we're coming back to this we'll open the phone lines as well we want to hear your views on it as well but uh listen let's let's remind ourselves of those who make this show possible you know it's difficult to keep good news to yourself. Hold on, uh, right? could you, before we continue, mm-hmm. somebody says, good morning, Winston Amoy. You are hereby granted permission to mention Church of Christ. I didn't want to. As the name of the church where tithe is not paid mm-hmm. because it is not part of Jesus Christ's teachings to his followers and cannot be found in the New Testament teaching. Mm. I disagree with him. I will get, oh, As in about, whether that is part of Jesus Christ's teaching. Okay. There okay. are several since, passages since in the New Testament since you that have brought talks that about about Titan. I think it is fair for so, me to also read something that was sent to me by Bereverson Jr. Okay, it is from Portland Bible College on well, this issue of whether tithing must continue since Jesus Christ didn't mention it. And it says it is true that Christians are not bound by the old law of Moses. We are under the law of Christ instead. Uh, Christ instead, keeping in step with the Spirit. However. It should be noted that tithing existed before the law of Moses. Abraham tithed to Melchizedek in Genesis 14.20 and referred to in Hebrew 7.6. Jacob vowed to tithe to the Lord at Bethel, Genesis 28.22. These were all one of events, by the way. Okay, let's continue. This practice was later codified in the law. Therefore, tithing is a biblical practice that precedes the law and exists on its own quite apart from the law. True, the law requiring us to tithe has been nailed to the cross in Colossians 2.14. That does not mean, however, that we can escape the principle of tithing, which is a part of the heritage of all Abraham's descendants. So far, so good, right? This is the part where it gets interesting. A comparable example would be the Sabbath. The Sabbath was established at creation and set forth as a pattern for Adam and his progeny. It was later added to the law of Moses and further elaborated. And then there are examples here. As Christians, under the law of Christ, we are not required to observe Sabbath days. In fact, Paul loudly insists that we ignore anyone who tells us we are bound by this law. Hebrews suggests that Christ had fulfilled the meaning of the Sabbath by achieving rest for us. Nonetheless, we recognize that Sabbath is a principle quite apart from the law and we have benefited by keeping it um that part of the argument is a bit strange mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. after christ died sabbath changed and it, it, it, it, it, it. Mm-hmm. christians so, have changed so why is it that after some, some christ died, anyway. tithing cannot change the, the, but let there's me, a bill in the bible quick Matthew one that, that hold talks hold about the fact that we're no longer Matthew living hold under, hold the, under the law of moses well, let me read but Matthew. under grace let me read Matthew. Let me read Matthew. I so love Moses. Let no, that, that, that, that, that was support, that that support my argument, but let me okay. read this one. Uh, Matthew <laughs> chapter 23, verse 23, and Luke eleven forty two. 42. Jesus mm-hmm. referred to tithing as something that should not be neglected. And it says, Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You give a tenth of your spices, mint, dill coming, but you have neglected the more important matters of the law justice mercy and fulfillness let's move on and faithfulness let's move up i think uh, that's not the end of the verse um okay uh, if we don't have the full one let's go to pastor pastor uh this jasper i think he um actually talks about that uh, yes okay so uh, this pastor casper uh, mm-hmm. that says it says he for you are careful to tithe even the tiniest of your income but you ignore the most important things of the Lord, justice, mercy, and faith. You should tithe, yes, but you should not leave undone the more important things. Mm-hmm. The, this scripture nullifies the argument that tithing is an Old Testament yeah. practice. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, Pastor yeah. Kasper Appiah, Assemblies okay. of God. Let, so let, let me also, could you, just a quick uh, one. Uh, Hebrews uh, 7, 1 to 2 says, For this Melchizedek, the king of Salem, a priest of the Most High God, 
met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. And to him Abraham apportioned a tenth part of everything. He is first by a translation of his name, king of righteousness. And then he is also the king of Salem and the king of peace. And so there's a bit that talks about Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. Reference to the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Reference to but the this Old is Testament. A, but it's but another one-off. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, <laughs> none of these things we've read yeah. changes what is in Deuteronomy, which is the description of how a tithe must be paid. Jesus says Pharisees were paying tithes. Mm. But he didn't say they were paying it to the temple. The same Bible oh, talks about... about no, could you, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. No, I'm coming. No, Just no, a quick no. one. I not, listened okay, to okay, you, fine. so let me finish. Look, it, when Jesus refers to the Pharisees, to the tithes they pay, he didn't say that they've been paying it to the temple. In Malachi, when God told the, uh, uh, what's it called, to the, the Israelites, that when they don't pay tithes, they are robbing him. He didn't say that they should go and give it to the the the. the, the the, the, what's it called? What was the name of the person running the temple at the time? The priest or the Levites. The priest. Yeah. He didn't say that. So the description of how a tithe must be paid remains one. The one in Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. So every time tithe is referred to in the Bible, take your mind back to Deuteronomy. That is what is being talked about. Mm -hmm. Jesus is saying that these Pharisees, they are chopping their 10% in the church. Mm -hmm. But they are not paying attention to the things that mm -hmm. are important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, let me go, uh, remind you that Societe General <laughs> says it's difficult to keep good news to yourself, especially when it can transform your life and those close to you. SG Ghana went low on interest rates last year, and this year they are even lower. Yes, yeah, Tisubio. Are you an SG Ghana customer or are you on the Controller and Accountant General's payroll? Listen, get the money you need to turn your dreams into a reality. Visit any SG Ghana branch near you and speak to their dedicated staff about the amazing Yatisu Biom loans available today. You can also call 0302-214-314 for more details. The offer runs until the 7th of June, 2024. Terms and conditions apply. SG Ghana, the future is you. And you know, Paul maintained car engine can age faster. That's why we offer specially formulated quartz engine oil with age resistance technology. It's a breakthrough innovation that ensures optimal performance for your engine and improves protection against mechanical wear by up to 74%, even under extreme temperatures and pressures and, and pressure. Choosing quartz from total energies is choosing the engine oil that keeps your engine running efficiently and effectively. Quartz keep your engine younger for longer. Now, of course, uh, Imperial General Assurance. Uh, brings you the collision insurance policy. Yeah, now they give you insurance beyond the road. The collision insurance from Imperial General gives you protection in the event of a collision with another car or an object. Now, this policy will give you repair of your damaged car parts resulting from the collision, hospitalization benefits if you are admitted beyond three days, and of course, you need not be involved in a car accident to benefit. All third-party benefits are also available. So get collision insurance from Imperial. Call them today on 0577-667-436 to talk to, uh, or talk to your broker or any of their agents across the country for further details. You can also follow them on all their social media handles. Terms and conditions apply. Collision insurance. Insurance beyond the road. Imperial General Assurance. Solid protection. So Toyota users get ready for a revolution. If you want your Toyota engine to function optimally, then there's only one choice. The Toyota Genuine Motor Oil. Uh, the Toyota Genuine Motor Oil has been rigorously tested and proven to be the best oil for your Toyota engine, specially crafted to keep your engine, uh, your Toyota engine running smoothly and efficiently. The Toyota Genuine Motor Oil is available at all Toyota Ghana branches across the nation. Nothing makes your engine happier than Toyota Genuine Motor Oil. For bulk purchase or distribution, contact Toyota Ghana on 0302-429801. Toyota, superior quality. Mm. Kingdomstoreonline.com has some superior quality office essentials, equipment and furniture, not forgetting stationery, available for you to buy and pay for with Mumu across all networks. They'll deliver for free if you're in Accra or Tema. Terms and conditions apply at Kingdom. Quality and affordability are their hallmarks. 
So if you've ever tried uh, to push a pull door, you know it doesn't work. Well, same goes for when you put the wrong engine oil in your luxury vehicle. Well, let me introduce to you Shell Helix Ultra OW20SP, specially formulated with unique Shell Pure Plus technology that actively helps lubricate and clean your engine, giving your premium car peak performance. Shell Helix Ultra OW20SP provides unsurpassed wear and sludge protection, leaves your pistons cleaner than a whistle, up to 50% more than the industry standard and enhanced fuel economy. Shell Helix Ultra OW20 SP is designed to be safe for the environment with a significant reduction in carbon emissions. I could go on and on and on and on and on, but the only way to prove the value of Shell, uh, you know, uh, Helix Ultra OW20 SP is to try it yourself, okay? Premium rose best with premium. Get Shell Helix Ultra OW20 SP made for premium today. Mm. All right, great news. Back to Matt is here again. It's the double XL clearance sale guaranteed savings. All the products in the showroom are uh, up to 70% off between now and the end of April 2024. So from 20%, 25, 30, 40, 50, up to 70% off several products. You can carry out your construction projects this year with complete peace of mind. Don't miss this opportunity. It's the year to get things done. Batimat is the home to some of the best brands in building solutions. They are the leading distributors of Legrand electrical products, that's uh, distribution boards, enclosures, switches, sockets, breakers, and so forth. They also have the best waterproofing solutions and chemicals for your building projects. Now, other products include tiles, lights, office furniture, sanitary wear, bathroom accessories, and so much more. Enjoy great discounts on all of these items it's price craziness at batimat between now and the 30th of april 2024 go to their showroom at the north industrial area just next to winners chapel ghana close to ecg aveno call 0544-314-553 don't miss out batimat welcome home and G and J, your reliable alternative backup power solution provider, is 30 years old, and we should thank you, all our cherished partners and customers, for being part of this journey. As we embrace the future with brighter hopes, we look forward to providing you with the best backup power service to your homes, offices, churches, and more. We're still the largest backup power supply in the country, and with a 24-hour service delivery, we are poised to give you the best brands in backup power and after sale service. Locate G and J in Accra, of the Mortuary Road to Kolebu. Call G and J on 0302-689178 or 0302-689179 or 0202-222204 in Kumase 0202-222236. All right, now, are you looking for a freight forwarding company to handle both your inbound and outbound shipments? If you are, then listen, your search is over. IAS FedEx offers a wide variety of international freight services, uh, including air freight, sea freight, uh, whether less container load or full container load, customs clearance and documentation. Now, the international operations link more than 200 countries supported by extensive domestic networks in all key markets, and they offer a range of fast and direct freight services to suit your needs. Now, they have dedicated staff who have in-depth knowledge in, their local, in local customs and uh, clearance processes as well as procedures. IAS FedEx pre-finances freight pickups uh, to an agreed threshold for you. Terms and conditions apply. Please contact them now for free consultation on international freight services and customs clearance processes. Mm -hmm. uh, the number is 050-160-5000 or 050-163-1000. With IAS Ghana, your freight is firmly secure. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to take some messages. When we come back, we're getting back into it, and we certainly need to hear your views on these discussions as but well. But of course, there's also food for thought. We'll mm -hmm. bring you sports, we'll bring you the birthday messages, and food for thoughts after these. Imagine strutting into the most anticipated wedding of the year, ah, only to see seven other girls wearing your exact same outfits. Ah! 
are special and one of a kind. And that's why whether it's voice, data or SMS, you get to enjoy personalized offers tailored to your specific needs with MTN just for you. Dial star 141 hash or select your options on the My MTN app to redeem your unique just for you package on Ghana's best mobile network. MTN. Have you ever thought of the one, the one that makes you complete, an escape from the clutches of interest charges? With the standard chartered Visa debit and credit cards, payments are completed at the speed of light, intertwined with interest earning accounts. You also get unbelievable rewards every time you swipe. You have access to over 1,200 airport lounges worldwide, high credit limits of up to 100,000 Ghana cities, and up to 50 days interest-free with our credit cards. You also get to enjoy full multi trip travel insurance for 90 days. Fees discounted at your feet with our globally partnered merchant points. Bills are always settled, not battled. Get the standard chartered debit and credit card now. Call toll free on 0800 740 100 or 0302 740 100 or reach us via email on feedback.ghana at sc.com. Standard chartered, here for good. No matter your water needs, Syntex has it all. Syntex tank was first to introduce double layer tank, and now you can have as many layers as you want. Syntex tank was first to introduce white inner layer tanks in Ghana, and now introduces the customer specs order, which will let you order any color and size you want. Syntex tanks gives you the biggest warranty of seven years, which no other tank gives you. So whatever your water consumption, size of project, or demand, Choose Syntex Tank. Syntex Tank, stress free. Syntex Tank, reliable. Syntex Tank, maximum guarantee. Call 0244 335 168. Kumasi 0505 555 666. Or visit SyntexGH.com. Syntex Tank, a year strong, a year tough. Ladies and gentlemen. Telecell is here! Telecell, connecting energies. Things are looking up on this side. <laughs> when you upgrade to the enhanced GCB mobile app, you start doing more with ease. Create a GCB instant account easily and conveniently with your GCB mobile app and start sending and receiving funds. All you need is your Ghana card. Pay your bills, subscriptions and fees to multiple merchants safe and secure. Charlie, tap the app. Open a GCB Instant account and experience the recoded vibe. You're able to top up on all types of ECG prepaid meters with their special card readers and keep the power on. No worries, no stress. With GCB Mobile App, you can also generate prepaid and virtual cards to use on ATM machines, POS devices, and for online transactions. Well, I pay my subscriptions and fees with my GCB Mobile App conveniently. <laughs> GCB Mobile App. Download now from Google Play Store or Apple Store. Upgrade your style. GCB Bank, your bank for life. Birthday messages, as always, are brought to us by MTN. MTN. Everywhere, Everywhere you, you go. go. And Bank of Africa, the African Bank with Global Reach Bank of Africa, as strong as a group. As, as close, close as a partner. Right. Bring the birthday shout later. Okay, which means we can move on straight to the Joy Sports Center. Brought to you by... MTN. Everywhere you go. Standard Chartered Bank, here for good. DSTV. It's, it's your, your moment. moment. Twisco Energy Food Drink. Twisco power your dream and bet power of course a sports team taking a holiday today yeah. which uh, doesn't stop us from still thanking those exactly so folks imagine a world where your home or business is powered by the sun's boundless energy I mean, picture your rooftop transforming into a solar sanctuary, radiating with eco-friendly vibes and city-saving brilliance. Well, dream no more with Standard Chartered's renewable energy loans. You can turn this dream into a dazzling reality. And oh, guess what? Our renewable energy loans come at very low rates and 
uh, so that's right. We're not just offering loans. We're offering the keys to your solar-powered kingdom. Say goodbye to high electricity bills and step into a new world where every watt generated is a step towards a brighter, more sustainable future. So if you're ready to take control of your energy destiny and switch to solar today, give us a shout on any of the following numbers. 501 and then 244 Let's chat a course for a brighter tomorrow and make your solar dreams shine brighter than ever before. Standard Chartered, here yeah, for, for good. good. All right, now, you know, we all have those days when, you know, we're low on energy, you know, time, cash, even airtime and data. Well, that's why MTN Extra Time is an airtime and data advanced service that allows you to make calls or browse the internet even when you have insufficient balance. All you need to do is dial star 506 hash, that's star 506 hash, Go through the prompts and select the amount of airtime or data you need. It's more than simple. Doing your favorite things on MTN means you don't get interrupted even when you're low on airtime or data. Please remember, all terms and conditions apply. Great, so time now for Food for Thought, mm -hmm. brought to us by Roverman Productions. Be, Be the, the difference. difference. Uncle. Good morning. Uncle. Good morning, Uncle Boo. And Afi Shapa. Uh, I have noted your mischief this oh. morning. <laughs> Winston, you said you were awake at what time? Around 1 a.m. Around 1, 1 a.m.? Yes. Oh, Winston. Yes, uncle. I slept before 8. Okay, all right. Okay, so. I woke so. Up early and then once I woke up, I was, uh, you know, thinking about a lot of things. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. Some people are very dangerous when they are, they are thinking. <laughs> and all of a sudden, a thought of, uh, you know, can, <laughs> you know, uh, pastoring be a... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is it possible with pastors are not... <laughs> what about no, line on of a full -time basis led you there? Yeah, I don't even know if we should thank you or... <laughs> uh, then, you know, I was also thinking about uh, other things, issues about tithing and all of that. Mm. And, uh, you know, I, I was convinced that uh, it wasn't the way to go. And a lot of people have sent me messages. In fact, uh, my very good friend, uh, Richard, I don't have permission to mention his full name. If he gives me the permission, I'll mention his full name. <laughs> he actually says that. The issue of tithing is something I've been reading about. The passage you read is about Jesus chastising the Jews because it was their custom. If you look at the letters Paul wrote to the Gentiles, there was no direct instruction to pay tithe. He gives the verses. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 1 to 15 mm. talks about giving to support the church or the work of God, especially verses 6 and 7. Galatians 6 verse 6 to 10 talks about sharing good things with teachers of the gospel, especially verse 6 talks about, um, you know, um, giving things, not only money. Luke 6 38 talks about giving in general and the blessings that come with it. Giving is talked about. The quantum of how much to give is not prescribed. Although I think we've established from Deuteronomy that tithing was never about giving. It wasn't really about coming to give something in church. According to Deuteronomy, where it is God speaking to his own people, tithing is supposed to be about eating. Eating anyway, you. Uh, guys, can I do my report and go? Uncle, please, you can. And go my somewhere in, in, in peace, please. Um, I, I, I, I, I don't wake up at once, so I will... <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, I'm sure there are times that, uh, you know, after a play, you, you get home and by the time you, you sleep, is past one. Yes, uh -huh. that one happens but he, but he regularly. wake up and try to change Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, by the way, you are aware there's a party going on in front of the, oh, yes. of the studio. Fufu party. Big. Tim Tim. Big yeah. party with brass van and all yes, that. Oh, yeah. uh, the place is cooking. Papa. Uh, in fact, when I stepped out, I could smell things. Mm. No, it's not just the food. It's the uh, music and everything uh, going on there. It's, it's, it's great. We take Easter very seriously here. 
Well, um, Joy has always taken <laughs> Easter <laughs> Monday very seriously. Yes. With a um, soup kitchen. That's right. Yeah. That's happening today. Are you going to cook? We're going to uh, the Boston today to go and okay. celebrate. Okay. Okay. Okay. That's our Easter soup uh, kitchen. You go some? Oh, yes. Um, Winston also go home, yeah, yeah, or he'll home. go and sleep early so he can wake up at one. How for you? Well, <laughs> oh, by the way, um, my play um, Dubai or No Sex continues today, mm. um, four and eight. We've had incredible times with the audience um, over the last three um, two and uh, yeah, three days. Eh? Yeah, three days. And um, this is day four. And so, if you've not been able to see this play, um, come and see why so many people... We had, we, had a, we had a case where people watched the four o'clock show, went out, bought tickets, and came for the eight o'clock show. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yes, that, that was fantastic. Nice. Well, Koji and Wilson, last Thursday, I started my reflections on Easter. I talked of my version of what happened on the Thursday when the Easter drama started to unfold. We ended with the arrest of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. This morning, I am returning to the original Thursday, but from the perspective of Peter. So here now is the Easter story from the point of view of Peter, who was not just a witness, but a key player in the greatest drama of all time. Here we go. It had been a long day for Peter and the rest of the disciples. Indeed, that whole week leading to the Thursday, Jesus seemed to be on a mission. He seemed like a man under pressure to be somewhere by a certain time, and he was keen to make that appointment. So, it was a very tired Peter who woke up on that Thursday and went to Jesus to ask, where would you want, a, where would you want us to prepare for you to eat the, break, the Passover meal? Jesus had given them clear directions and Peter had taken charge and ensured that by the due time, everything was ready just as the master would want it. As far as Peter was concerned, making the master happy was the only thing that mattered in life. And he always looked forward to celebrating the Passover with Jesus. Jesus seemed to come alive even more on the Passover. He always called it his festival. He once intimidated to the to the disciples that he was the one to fulfill the Passover. He believed strongly that he was a Passover lamp, but which confused Peter and the others no end. But then again, the master loves to make claims that are baffling. This was a man, remember, who said, before Abraham, I am. But this Passover was different. Jesus was not in a buoyant mood, and everything he said made the mood darker and heavier. He began by saying that one of them will betray him. He went on to say that he will be arrested and that they would all desert him. Quoting one of the, of the prophets, Jesus said, quote, I will strike the, sheep, the shepherd and scatter the sheep. To make matters worse, Jesus had told him, that is Peter, that he would deny, he would deny three times that he ever knew him. Peter was offended that the master thought so low of him. He, Peter, knew that he would kill for Jesus. More than that, he would die for Jesus. Why would the master not see that? All that had taken an emotional toll on Peter. He was exhausted physically and emotionally. You see, Peter's yearning for the approval of the, of the master was crazy. <clears throat> when they got to the Garden of Gethsemane, <clears throat> Jesus said to everyone, Sit here while I go over there and pray. Then he took Peter, James, and John with him. Peter decided that this was the time to talk to Jesus about doubting his loyalty. But when he saw the face of Jesus and his body language, he was alarmed. He had never seen the master this dejected. He whispered to John, The master is not himself tonight. What is going on? John just shrugged. As if he had read Peter's mind, Jesus said, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Peter watched as Jesus went a little further and fell on his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. 
It was the last thing Peter heard before his heavy eyelids won the battle against sleep. The next he heard, Jesus was standing over, over them and saying something. It took Peter a while to, to be awake enough to hear what Jesus was saying. And Jesus was saying, couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? Then he looked at Peter and said, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again as Peter continued his struggle with sleep. Peter drifted into a dream of being chased by a mob. While, and whilst running away from them, he tripped and fell. And the leader of the mob, fierce and huge, caught up with him with a sword raised to strike him. And just then, Peter felt someone tapping him and calling his name, Peter, Peter. Peter sprang up from his, deep, from his sleep in terror and started walking ra- around in circles. His eyes were open, but his mind had not woken sufficiently from sleep to make sense of his environment. He was totally disoriented. Then he heard Jesus say to him, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come. The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my my betrayal. Peter, now fully awake, woke up James and John. And just as he did, the quiet of the garden was shattered by the entry of a mob, wielding swords and clubs with others holding torches to light the way. Then Peter saw Judas at the head of the mob, and looking at how agitated the mob was, he thought, Has Judas gotten himself into trouble? Is he under arrest? What did he do? Peter watched as Judas came to Jesus, and as he always did, hugged and kissed him and said, Greetings, Rabbi. Jesus said to Judas, Stanley, do what you came for, friend. Then the men stepped forward, seized Jesus, and arrested him. At this, Peter sprang into action. He had the sword with him, and he drew it out and swung wildly at a man who turned out to be the servant of the high priest. He cut the man's ear off. Put your sword back in its place, Jesus shouted at him, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call on my father and he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 legends of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled that say it must happen this way? Jesus put the ear back in its position and it healed immediately. Then he turned to the mob and said, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I sat in the temple courts teaching, and you did not arrest me. But this has all taken place, that the writings of the prophets might be fulfilled. Peter, still ready to fight, looked around to see who he could mobilize for the fight, only to find that he was alone with John. All the others had disappeared. They had vanished. For the first time, he felt fear and would have fled. But then he remembered his boast to Jesus and felt trapped by his words. He had promised Jesus that if if everyone fled, he, Peter, would never flee. And now because of those words, he could not run away, even though he could see that this was a life-threatening situation. The mob could turn on him any moment, but he decided that all die be die. Jesus had been wrong to suggest that he, Peter, would be like the others and flee. He was determined to prove the master wrong, even if it meant death. And we'll end it here, and God willing, on Thursday, um, I'll take the viewpoint of Peter again as as he's he sat deeper and deeper into the drama of Easter. Peter is somebody who I always feel a bit sorry for. Yeah. On that day, you know, the, the emotions he went through, so and wide-ranging. and he, he makes you love your humanity, doesn't he? Mm, mm, <laughs> very much so. Very much so. Very much so. He, he, uh, makes, you know, he, makes, he, makes, 
He met some of us who are weak, realized that mm. God has place for everybody. Hmm. <laughs> he was indeed on many occasions a victim of his own yes. emotion, you know. Got and uh, carried away. you wait to, uh, to find the reason he followed the mob to the trial of Jesus. I wonder what he was thinking. I wonder how he felt. Yeah. Walking amidst them after having denied him and all of this, you know. Why did he follow? Yeah. Why didn't he walk away like that? <laughs> so, coming up on Thursday. Absolutely. We can't wait. And of course, uh, that was Food for Thought, brought to us by the kindness of Roverman Productions. Be the difference. Uncle Ibu White there. And uh, he will return on Thursday. I certainly cannot wait. Thank you, Uncle Ibu. So, uh, are you are you going to uh, share with us your? Am I going to do it? Are you going to share with us your uh, view on tithing? Mine. Your view on tithing. And um, what is that? Hey, on that note, <laughs> on that note, Uncle Bo exits the building. Also, what is that? <laughs> Why do you want to disturb? Worry your uncle this morning. I, I, I in fact, Mumbazi, I've stopped. Uh, well, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is not for nothing that I call um, Kojo a uh, mischief. Oh, I've stopped too. The only thing that makes him his mischief interesting is that he's also handsome to go with it. <laughs> Don't put uncle on the spot. Uh, do that. In fact, Mina, I've stopped. I uh, withdraw my question, Uncle Ibu. Uh, no <laughs> I have repented. Commentary I've on repented. tithing, no. Winston, thank you very much. None thank whatsoever. You. You, you, to this morning, you become the conscience of Kojo. <laughs> <laughs> As you have often been. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, but there's been, there's been, major, major, there's been major, lots major, of comments major. on it. So many. Oh, there would be. So yeah. many. I People are you very that. interested because in this, this conversation. Because the topic that the body of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's one, there's one that I saw that says, the direction is to the priest and the Levites. Mm -hmm. Our pastors today are businessmen. They are no priests or Levites. Oh, Charlie. But um, anyway, you, we, we, we, we, we will Koyo, settle this. Okay. Okay. Okay. Um, but I'm you, I'm uh, <laughs> uh, okay. you find me awake at one, I'm writing a play. Here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know, this could have been, you know, well, now that you've, uh, you know, uh, told me about this, maybe the next time I wake up at one. Uh, instead of write. thinking about these things, I'll write something. <laughs> write, a write something. Write, write, write, write a something. play. It, just, funny. just don't call it the tides of of. No, no, no. After he's written, um, he would, you know the, whatever you write, the title suggests itself sometimes mm -hmm. along the way. Yes, yes And knowing yes. him, because Winston is very literate. Mm -hmm. He's, the two of you sometimes make us feel that we have to go for a refund of our school fees, <laughs> because oh. I look at. Why? What you people do with the knowledge that you have, Winston would take you into history. He would take you into the classicals. Kojo would take you to Takwa and all the places in between. <laughs> you know, anytime, anytime I've heard you uh, uh, say it right, say, yay, some <laughs> English teacher owes me an apology. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, well, they will all render accounts. Don't worry. All right, all right. I'll, I'll write one of these and go and give it to Uncle Ebo. Uh, hey. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll be expecting it. Yeah. So, yes. guys, the next time I wake up, keep the good work going. Thank you, Uncle Keep the good work going. Thank you. And, and I, a happy I Easter always say you. that people underestimate the kind of sacrifice it takes to do the Super Morning Show mm -hmm. in times of time. Your social your social lives would, will not be the same. Yeah. yeah. You know, because you have to make sure you are rested before you come mm -hmm. um, and irrespective of what issues you are having in your pers personal life when you get here and you sit behind there you're it, happy you have to pretend <laughs> nothing mm -hmm. is happening in your lives yeah. but that is only a small part of the sacrifice you people put in then comes the positions you take on any issue hmm. genuinely yes and then there are people who read all kinds of meanings into why Mm -hmm. You are taking those those positions, and um, yeah. and yet you come here every every every day, and you are cheerful. Um, you guys, I think you should give us your secret. Maybe 
you are you've been hooked into some economy that we people do. It's fufu or fufu, Tim Tim. That's a secret. Hashtag. <laughs> Tim Tim. Oh, it's actually yeah, it's actually happening. You know the fufu party. Mm. Um, I've been told that right after 10 a.m. I'll be served. You know, yeah, big one. You have already gone oh, to so put you yourself hope. in a queue. Oh yes, I have hope. You have hope. Oh, I have hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a fun. You know, you know, you, too, okay. you, you know, in God those days, you. the boys would say, Sir, when me me you be me So, All right, more uh, to come on the Super Morning sure. Show. Yeah. Uh, some messages, uh, starting with this one from Roverman Productions. Roverman Productions, same partnership with National Theatre and Joy Affair. Present an original if white play, Dubai, or no sex. Barney, darling, do you know where Simon and Diva went for their annual vacation? To Dubai. Oh, so you know. And the year before that's the way the Caribbeans. Caribbean. Where have you been on vacation with me, your wife? Ajua, you and I have been at Kwewu for Easter. Kwewu. Winneba for Abuache. Elmina for Bakati. Elmina. And we have been at Keta for... Keta. Uh-huh. Yes. We are also regular at Homowa. Shows on March 29th, 30th, 31st, and April 1st, Face Sit and 7. Time. Fridays at 7 p.m. Saturdays, 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. Sundays, 1 p.m., 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. And a special showing on Easter Monday at 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. Great. 200 Ghana City. Get your tickets on the Corba Shorts code star 365 star 535 hash and at all regular outlets. Call 059-6922-040. WhatsApp 050-554-6030. Sponsors. Tino Tomato Mix, TCB Bank Limited, and M Notify. Roverman Productions. Be the difference. Across Africa, a new era has begun. Shifting our focus to a new horizon, connecting us with one purpose, to create and share opportunities to grow. Today, we are making a brighter tomorrow built by our dreams and our energy. Across our continent, across the world, we are creating a better way to a better future. A pan-African future, together. Echo Bank, a better way, a better Africa. Boss, me the car now go pin. Hey, who the car back to me so? Boss, you no renew the insurance. Tell it, I didn't have time. Oh, I had to go to the farm. You can insure on the farm. And I had to go to the market too. You could have insured in the market. I had to cook supper for my wife. Abba. Boss, you could have insured in the market. Ah, but how? By texting or buyer on 0242-426-396 to help insure with Provident Insurance on WhatsApp from anywhere. Into Bebia Bebia. Ani Bebia Bebia with or buyer. Now you can insure your car anywhere, anytime on WhatsApp. Text or buyer on 0242-426-396 today. With, With Provident. Provident, man, you are coming. Coffee in your cup and joy on the set. The Super Morning Show is always the best bet on Joy 99.7 FM. All right, you're welcome back. It's 8.14 on the Super Morning Show, the award-winning Super Morning Show on this Easter Monday edition. We're having such a good time together. Big stories are brought to you on the Super Morning Show by Telesel Connecting Energies. Emirates, fly Emirates, fly better. And Latex Foam, your partner for life. And dreaming of uh, the perfect sofa to upgrade this year? Your dream of sofa is now a reality at Latex Foam, introducing our sensational V sofa range, where comfort meets style at prices that will make your heart skip a beat. Hop into any Latex Foam showroom nationwide to dive into a world of colors and choices from the sleek L-shaped V sofa, just 3,100 to the complete V sofa set for an unbeatable 6,500. You have the opportunity to elevate your living space with Latest Foam, your forever partner in comfort and luxury. Hurry, your perfect sofa awaits Latest Foam, your partner for life. Now you're about to have the world at your fingertips because the wait is finally over. Telesell is here. 
Now you have everything you want and need. Quick and reliable communication, stress-free money transactions via Telesel Cash, transforming your big business ideas into success stories with Telesel Business and more. Connect with Telesel and enjoy a world of endless possibilities because with Telesel, there is no limit to connections. Telesel, connecting energies. All right, now don't forget to send your tweets in, uh, or well, your ex posts in, or certainly you can um, send us WhatsApp messages on 055 997. If you're going to do a post on X, then make sure you use the hashtag JoySMS. Social media messages on the Super Morning Show are brought to you by Echo Bank, a better way, a better Africa. Provident Insurance with Provident Man, you are covered. Mala 2 from Ernest chemists for the effective treatment of malaria in both adults and children. When the pain is too much to bear, grab Rapinol. Rapinol, the rapid pain reliever. And everyday people face different emergencies. Place emergency, fire emergency, medical emergency, you name them. But many Ghanaians don't know the emergency numbers. Well, here's one you would always want to remember. Star 770 hash. Yes, star 770 hash is the Echo Bank Money Emergency number and it gives you instant access to loans, fund transfers, utility payments, airtime and data purchases and so much more even without data. So there's no need to panic when you find yourself in any money emergency. Echo Bank will always come to your rescue. Dial star 770 hash now for solutions to your money emergencies. Echo Bank, the Pan-African Bank. Now you can now get your vehicle insured anywhere, anytime with Provident Insurance Obaya on WhatsApp. She works round the clock so you don't have to worry about closing times. I mean, baby, ah, baby, ah. buy, renew, and file claims for your vehicle, baby, ah, baby, ah. all you have to do is chat with Obaya on 0242-426-396 and let her help you. It's quick, convenient, reliable, and it saves you time so you can do more in your day. Chat with Obaya and get your vehicle insured now on Provident Insurance. So text your Obaya, baby, ah, baby, ah, with Provident Man. You are covered. All righty then. Well, they take a break today, uh, but normally they would have brought you the Joy Business Minute by the kind courtesy of Consolidated Bank Ghana, CBG. We stand with you. Anointed Electricals, The Generator Experts, and Waika Recapital. Together, towards tomorrow. Waika Recapital. We are a multinational fund management company regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Our aim is to help our customers thrive by enabling them to achieve their lifetime financial goals while investing their funds in ways that create a positive future for them, their families, and their businesses. In this way, we help them to create the best life. Speak to us today. Call us on 050-157-7546 or 050 7547. Visit Recapital Together towards tomorrow. Coffee in your cup and joy on the set. The Super Morning Show is always, always the best, best bet on Joy 99.7 FM. Joy 99.7 FM. Looking for the wrong one again, wrong one again. Baby girl, I'm searching again. Even though I fuck with your ways, even though your body didn't craze, no before me. Maybe I'm unlucky again. The car, the car, my car, my love. Oh, another one for one car.
mama find someone to love, she go do me why oh. It's going well. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, and, and, our, and our little debate is sparking a, a lot of uh, response from you. Uh, a couple of things we're thinking about. The first one is whether or not pastors should really be a full-time job, right? Whether it should be a full-time job <laughs> to pastor a congregation. The second one is the issue of tithing and how it seems as if the description that was given in the Bible is not exactly what we're doing in uh, today's Christian life. That's what we're debating and lots and lots of you have been sending your messages through, right Winston? Uh, yes, um, Kojo. So let me just do this one that says uh, tithe uh, was a law. Numbers chapter 18 verse 21 to 22. 21 says, and behold, I have given the children of uh, Levi, Levi uh, all mm -hmm. the tenth in Israel for an inheritance for their service which they serve, even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. 22, neither uh, must the children of Israel henceforth come nigh the tabernacle of the congregation, lest they bear sin and die. Tithe is, on, is for only the Levites and their generations forever. Only the Levites perform sacrifices for the God of Israel. If Christians are not under the law, then why are they still collecting tithe? Because tithe was given to the Levites as part of the laws of Moses. Pastors should wake up. Hosea chapter 3 verse 4. For the children of Israel abide many days without a king and without a prince and without sacrifice. There is no sacrifice today, so no tithe. And that's from Charles Stewart. Okay. okay, interesting. Thank you, Charles. And uh, you can share your views as well. But the, the, the central theme here is that, well, look, if a tithe is still a thing, if it still exists, then how is it to be paid? Is it a matter of taking a tenth of what you earn and giving it to your church? Uh, could you, let me just share more with you. You mm. love it. It says, my brother, I agree with you. The modern day pastors dwell on Malachi where the warning was to the Levites who were misappropriating tithes. They chose to ignore or dodge Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 22 to 29, <laughs> where tithing procedure was directed. Kofi in Amrahia. Now, let me just read something in Malachi. This is Malachi 3, verse 10. Could you, uh, I'm <laughs> sure you would like this one. Okay. It says, bring the whole tithe into the storeroom that there may be food in my house. Mm -hmm. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, mm -hmm. and see if I will not open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so blessing uh, that there will be not enough room so to much blessing. store it. Yeah. So much blessings. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be not enough room to store it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so it says bring into my storeroom. Okay. He says bring into the storeroom. storeroom yes. That's very important. It doesn't say into my storeroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, he says, bring tithe into the storeroom. Into my house, food into my house. He says, so that into there the will be house. into the storehouse. Yes, yeah, so that, so that may, there may be food, food in, in my, my house. house. So you see, that's what we have interpreted to mean that bring it to the, the church. Mm. Okay, but when you read Deuteronomy 14, 22 to 29, it says that every third year, 
take your tithe and go and put it in the storehouse of the town mm-hmm. so that the levites the widows the you know the the the the, the, the fatherless will be able to enjoy that's the storehouse right and he says pay your tithe so that there may be food in my house well deuteronomy 14 again uh, to, you know 22 to 29 says bring a tenth of what you earn and come and eat it in my house mm. so if you bring it and come and eat it in my house will there not be food in my house there'll be food in the house Thank of the you. lord read it as a whole yeah now, this one says the original church the catholic church does not call it tithes mm. i've done my checks and my Catholic friends tell me it's not compulsory. Mm. So in the Catholic Church, it's not compulsory to pay mm-hmm. tithes. Okay, that's interesting. Mm. But in the Methodist Church, you it's compulsory. Yes. In, in fact, sometimes my mother pays tithe for me oh, well. uh, against against my advice. <laughs> you know, so in my mind, I, I consider it to be a, just another you know giving that my mother is giving uh, because it's good to give. But as for tithe, the Bible Look, has said what it is. So. Could you, mm. uh, and the point is that I go to church sometimes. And there are times that I go to church that I feel like, oh, there's a, th- I mean, a Thanksgiving service. That if I feel like, I give. Mm. There are times also that I think that a lot of my money should actually go into helping people. Yeah. People who need it. Mm. And the pastors don't need it. I mean, my, my view is that uh, <laughs> pastoring a church should not be a full-time job. Mm. So uh, that's a view that I've been... I, I mean, I thought about that throughout. And yeah. um, people are, some, a lot of people agree with me. But uh, who, who, who, These who days, me? Levites are on their third or fourth private jet too. I, oh, yes. These days, well, uh, uh, yes. the sons of Levi, they who, are living who, large. Who are they? Ah, anyway, well. it says you guys cannot be far from the truth. <laughs> Trust me, the modern day Christian leader would jump over that text in Deuteronomy. Mm. Uh, once it wouldn't favor their cause, they would tell you that in the Old Testament, but we'll still quote Malachi. Uh, good morning, Reverend Samuel K. Nupen. Mm. And it says, uh, Kojo, I'm a pastor ordained in 2021 in ARS. Uh, Pastors are not on salaries in my church. Yes. Mm-hmm. We still do all it is necessary in all mm. spheres of the kingdom work. Pastors must be in full time employment, not to overburden the flock. Mm. And that's Pastor Samuel K. Nukben who says Wednesday. Please, it was Matthew 5 17 to 22. And John, Jesus Christ never had his own law. We must stop the pick and choose tactics. That's right. The same reverend, right? The same reverend, yes. Okay. Uh, a quick good morning to Mrs. Crampa of Salt Pond and Cape Coast. Uh, she lives in Accra, uh, an ardent listener uh, to Joy, and she's tuned in right now. Good morning to you. Uh, happy Easter to you as well. And could you say happy birthday to Vida Rose Tulasi of Parliament House? Mm-hmm. And, uh, yes, that's uh, your birthday. So, Vida Rose Tulasi, happy, happy birthday to you. Now, um, yesterday was my big brother's birthday. Mm-hmm. Uh, Apsu 88. Oh, wow. Edward Kobna uh, Amwa, Edward mm-hmm. Amwa uh, who nice. works at Graphic Communications uh, Group Limited. So, yesterday Fantastic. was his birthday. And uh, Saturday was also my cousin, Noel King Amwa's birthday. Mm-hmm. Uh, Noel King Amwa, he went to St. Mary's at Apoa. So, mm-hmm. Uh, happy, uh, belated happy birthday to mm. all of you and for those of you who are celebrating your birthday today <laughs> it looks like it's april fool's day but hey it's your birthday so <laughs> take it like yeah. that but there are lots of messages mm. okay mm. a quick one a quick birthday, birthday by the way a yeah. happy birthday to senator mama l uh oh the whole of senate wishes you a very happy birthday indeed you're so special to us Happy birthday to you. All so, right. uh, Rijo Beto would give us some, uh, you know, great songs. It's a holiday. He will get get us into the groove. We'll be jamming. Keep your messages coming. 55 And on X, use the hashtag JoySMS. You know, we'll, we'll read a lot of them. And uh, maybe we'll see maybe if we can activate the phone lines. Why That'll not? That'll be interesting, wouldn't it? Uh, let's uh, right. have that conversation. Stay right with here. us. On the Super Morning. Coffee in your cup. And Joy on the set. The Super Morning Show is always the best bet. On Joy. 99.7 FM.
Ghana man thing na na we bet up up crime April abana chede ozazina fine you do buga buga mhm anyway anyway anyway April has begun and it's begun in style right here on the super morning show thank you so much for choosing to join us we're having an interesting debate today and it's circling around the whole issue of tithing right yes got yes. lots of messages uh, we'll get into them but um my very good friend Semenyo Akwaku, mm-hmm. who's a CEO of Sadira Tact. You know, they are very right. uh, good fashion designers and mm-hmm. they do a lot of things. Um, Atili says she's enjoying uh, DJ Wobete's selections for today. Wonderful. Uh, yes, and so we'll get we'll get back to all the selections. More to come. Yes. Uh, we'll yes. see if we can pick some of your calls and mm-hmm. then you tell us. I'm sure I see many of you are interested in the conversation about 10% of your uh, <laughs> money going to your church or maybe pastor. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, either way. Mm. Listen, did you know that MTN Momo now has an app? Yeah, MTN Momo has a brand new app specially designed to make your Momo experience easier, convenient, and faster. Just download the Momo app or on Play Store or App Store on your smartphone and look out for the blue and yellow icon. Now, it's it's really that simple. MTN Momo, the Momo app, allows you to view your statements, pay bills, and so much more. Use the app for your Momo transactions and enjoy a 100% bonus when you recharge using the Momo app. So go on, download the Momo app now and start transacting with a flex at no data cost. Just Momo it everywhere you go. And Waika Recapital is a multinational fund management company regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission. And they have experience in fund management and investment banking has over the years helped its customers to thrive by enabling them to achieve their lifetime financial goals. Waika Recapital invests funds in ways that create a positive future for its customers, their families and businesses, and offers corporate finance and advisory services. In these ways, Waika Recapital helps its customers to create the best life. You too can always create your best life. Just speak to Waika Recapital today on 0501-577-546 or 0501-577-547. Okay, the office on the fourth floor, Gulf House, who proceed the Ghana Standards Authority, Accra. Visit WaikaRecapital.com for more information. Waika Recapital, together towards tomorrow. All right. Now, listen, KingdomStoreOnline.com wants you to spend just a few minutes checking out their amazing quality office essentials, equipment, furniture, and stationery. Great prices, and you can pay via Momo across all networks. They will then deliver to your home or office in really good time, and you get free delivery if you're in Accra or Tema. Terms and conditions do apply. Check those out. At Kingdom, quality and affordability are their hallmarks. Well, so um, Jacob is in Tottenham, London, and says, Hello, Kojo and Winston, the ancestor. <laughs> <laughs> Great discussions by all standards. People only try and do pick and choose on what benefits them from the black book we call the Bible. I'm a practicing Christian and with my daily struggles, but there are some things I won't just worry myself with. Anyways, uh, the music is connecting my bud, my soul and buddy. When I looked at the time, I felt this. I, I felt sad. The show will end pretty soon. Then it dawned on me that we are in British summertime now. Oh Fire yes, on, guys. Yes, yes, yes. yes you yes, still yes. have at least an hour. An hour that. to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, this one says. <laughs> Um, good morning, um, Winston and Kojo. The issue of tithing would always be misconstrued if we don't set the premise and keep that focus. The Bible as we have it is a national history of a people and not the history of the church. Oh. This people in the course of history had in their governing structure kings, priests, or prophets, and army commanders who jointly played roles in governing the people of Israel. You couldn't just wake up and do anything at all, especially if you claim it's a godly service. Things were pro- proper I should have, and very organized, unlike what we have or what we see in our country. With the Israelite tithe was more like national money. The Jews didn't understand why they had to pay taxes to Caesar because they weren't used to that. They were used to tithing. Okay, tithe is supposed to be paid for the common good. If the tithe is not serving the purpose, eventually the people will resist it. Uh, Selom Kwame in Kaswa. The People's Republic of Kaswa. Yes. Thank you, Selom. Thanks for that. Um, this one says, Hi, good morning. What about first fruit? Some churches demand your whole January salary as first fruit. 
Thanks. I, I, I, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. That's another level. That's another level. But, but, hey, but hey, you know, I started the conversation this morning by saying that when I woke up at dawn, I was actually asking myself. So I was just going through my beliefs. And I say, I wouldn't do that. Uh, you may have a reason not to do that, but maybe you may want to do that. I don't know. But um, first fruit, really, how do you survive the rest of the month? So, you see, it's, it's so fascinating. George raised the very important point of, um, of interpretation, mm. right? And I think throughout this whole conversation, that is the thing that I have always wanted to make sure that we are aware of. That many times, the things that we have taken to become laws are someone's interpretation. We read something and we decide for ourselves that this is what it means, especially with one-off events. Mm -hmm. And there were one-off events in the Bible. When Abraham gave a tenth to Melchizedek, it was a one-off event. And he gave it to a king, Arambwa. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the, the, you don't take one-off events and then decide, that, okay, from now on, we're going to do that because that's what God wants us to do. Imagine if... Some Christian leader said that, okay, well, you know, Abraham, uh, God told Abraham to take his son, you know, uh, uh, you know, and climb the mountain with him and sacrifice him, right? So, uh, from now on, in order to be a Christian, you must take your firstborn son, take him up the mountain and sacrifice him. If God tells you to stop, then you stop. <laughs> it's not possible. But it's, you see, but uh, that is literally what we're doing when we take a one-off event and we say, oh, we are going to start replicating it from now on because that is what makes us Christian. Could you listen to what um, Jeffrey in uh, Dortmund, Germany says. Good morning. I live and work in Germany. And here at the end of the month, a percentage of salaries is taking us tithes and sent to the Catholic Church, whether you go to the Catholic Church or not, except one applies specifically where his tithe should go. And if one makes this decision, there are some benefits that he or she will not get from the city. Really? Okay, that's uh, that's uh, the first time I'm hearing of any such thing. Mm -hmm. We'll check it. Interesting. We'll check, we'll check, okay. We'll check. We'll check. We'll check. Um, this one from Elder Dentu uh, Kurtzman. Kurtzman says, "Please, the Malachi tithing scripture you read was directed to the priest who were misappropriating the tithes Ow. that people had paid to them. It was not meant for tithe payers. Ah. So we are not robbing God." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, is, let's it, see what Ernest has to say. <clears throat> and uh, Ernest says, please, Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. Uh, Jojo, uh, read that one. Uh, get that one ready. you read it for us very soon. Looks like uh, we're in church already. <laughs> uh, this one. <laughs> mm, uh, no, that's not about what we're discussing. That's not about what we're no. discussing. Okay, so there's one today that says, uh -huh. happy what? Ascension Day. Is that Ascension it? Ascension Day? Is that, really? is that it? I'm not, I'm not sure. So God says we should help one another. So instead of tithing, if I give it to the poor and needy outside the church, is it okay, Ajman Joseph? Well, that's a position I would take. Um. Well, in fact, in the, in the instructions in Deuteronomy, it says that the third year or your third tithe should actually be given to the city. So that they can use it for the benefit of the, you know, those who need it. And, and, and they even list examples of those who need it, like the widows, the fatherless, and the Levites who at the time existed. And those people were nomadic preachers. They were walking around. They didn't have homes. They didn't have churches. They were just walking around and preaching, right? And so the, uh, the, the law provided for them. Today, who are Levites today? Well, um, Francis in Medina says, uh, good morning. In order to have a better grasp of uh, the subject, please read Nepsa, Otabel's book on tithe, offering, and giving. Very insightful. Um, okay, I'll try and see if I can get a copy of it, um, you know, to read. But um, until then... We have the Bible. We do. Mm. So we'll look at that one. Yeah. Um, Uncle Ibu is very smart. Eh? <laughs> like the question that as uh, whether it is lovable to pay tax to Caesar, Uncle Ibu managed to avoid the trap. You see how he diverted the topic to how you guys managed to run the SMS. <laughs> God bless Uncle Tim. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to. You know, there are some questions. And I say to you, there are some questions you, you, you actually don't answer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all of us would do that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if, if, if, if, if, if you don't want to, if you don't feel like answering, you don't have to yeah. answer. Yeah. And I've always insisted that <laughs> not every question is meant to be answered. Indeed. If you know, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother, I agree with you. The modern day pastors dwell on Malachi, where the warning was to the Levites. 
who were misappropriating these tithes, um, they choose to ignore or dodge. Okay, Deuteronomy, I think I've read this one. Let's get, mm. let's, let's read more of your messages and then uh, a lot more coming, a lot more coming. <laughs> mm. um, okay, this one says, the Catholic Church message is more like it. And that's the system we must all have. But our problem in the body of Christ is the issue of multiple denomination. Mm. So like um, somebody indicated, you decide mm. how much you want to give in the mm. Catholic Church. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's an interesting question there. Uh, well, after, after this one, I yes, guess we can go to it. Um, let me just get to this one. Mm. Let's then. On this note, I'd love to bring to your notice that the Church of Pentecost is not happy at all with your morning discussion. Nonetheless, <laughs> our pastors don't work, even though some are poultry farmers now. They live in Mission House, so we pay tithe and a knee for G. Oh, knee, well, I only made a bit of um, you know analysis uh, mm. using that. Yeah. Um, says, hello, team. So how does the church pay for their bills, electricity, pay stuff? Etc. So Etc. Well, I mean, it's an interesting question. How does the church fund itself, right? And mm. churches are supposed to be charitable organizations, yes, even yes. by our law. So that's how you fund yourself by, you know, raising funds, raising charity funds. Whether it's through the offering bo offering bowl, or whether it's through doing, you know, works in the community and hoping that people will make donations so that you can continue to run. That's how a charity is supposed to run. Yeah. But charities that own four or five private jets and Rolls Royces. That's a very, very difficult charity for me to get behind. Yeah, well, in, in other jurisdictions, they would make sure that you're a charity, a charity I mean, mm -hmm. you run as a charity organization, yeah. not as a, a profitable business. Stay with us, okay? When we return after these messages, uh, DJ Beto will get us into the group. We'll also try and activate the phone lines. Yeah. I want to um, hear you, uh, those of you who want to have a bit of a conversation with us. It's your show. We're back after these. Are you a corporate organization, e-commerce business, individual or student looking for a trusted courier company where you can track your package and receive SMS alerts to keep you posted? At IAS FedEx, we move your documents and parcels with care to the destination of your choice. With offices across the nation, we happily deliver your package to your office or the comfort of your home. With the assurance of safety and affordability giving you peace of mind, IAS FedEx has your package in good hands. Call us on plus 233-501-605000 or plus 233-501-631000. IAS, licensee of FedEx. Hey, welcome back to work. Charlie, thanks, bro. Thanks, Your bro. malaria really knocked you down, eh? Charlie, no joke. Hey. Fever, headache, vomiting, hey. loss of appetite. I couldn't even eat my usual fufu. <laughs> you have fufu. How you go do it? I hope you got tested before the malaria treatment. Oh, yes, I did. And thanks to Malatu, I kicked out malaria one time. Sharp. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. sorry to ruin your excitement, but your boss asked a few. Okay. She says she has plenty work for you. <laughs> no problem, Charlie. Strength D. Yes, you. Oh, yeah. When malaria strikes, take Malatu, containing Artemisa and Lumifantrain, camps in tablets and suspension for the effective treatment of malaria in adults and children. If symptoms persist after three days, consult your doctor. Mala 2 is manufactured and distributed by Ernest Chemists Limited. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Only five words can describe Bet Power's new boosted odds. Odds must be crazy. They are the biggest odds in Bet Power history. Odds must be crazy. Available on the home draw in a way, full time market of the biggest matches each week. Odds must be crazy. Giving you more opportunities than ever to bet small for a chance to win big. Odds must be crazy. Follow the purple arrows to find them on betpower.com.gh. That's B E T P A W A dot com dot G H. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsibly, 18 years and above only. Gaming can be addictive, terms and conditions apply. It's the most action packed breakfast show in town. The hottest music, the best giveaways, the great interviews, and all the laughter and fun you can imagine. Don't miss the Super Morning Show.
Perfect opportunity this Ramadan Karim to make it an extra special season for your family and friends with Melcom. With affordable products ranging from groceries, electronics, homeware, kitchenware, furniture and more, you've got all your needs sorted. Ramadan Mubarak to our Muslim family. Terms and conditions apply. Melcom, where Ghana shops. In life, choice is good, but Choice Plus Safety is way better. Your safety and comfort is paramount. Under the cylinder recirculation model, you can buy LPG in a safe environment. All cylinders are inspected and maintained to the best safety standards, so your safety is assured. Just take your empty cylinder to the nearest exchange point and swap it for a filled cylinder. Different cylinder sizes will be available to meet your pocket size. Imagine cooking in a smoke-free environment. This will improve the health and well-being of you and your family. Choose LPG in a safer model of distribution. Cylinder Recirculation Model. Securing your safety. Creating more jobs. A message from the National Petroleum Authority under the patronage of the Ministry of Energy. Usually, we get special treatment only on our birthday. But imagine getting a special package every single day. That's what 80s Daily Deals gives you. You get unique voice and data deals exclusive to you. What's even better is it's affordable, reliable, and available. Start experiencing 80s Daily Deals. Dial star 533 hash today and every single day. When you do, you'll unlock exclusive data and voice packages valid for 24 hours. Come on, people, jump on the AT Daily Deals train. When you're with dealer now, dial star 533 hash now and access awesome data and voice deals only from AT. Life is simple. Welcome back. It's a super morning show on Joy. And hey, this conversation is going far. People are sending all um, manner of messages in. This whole thing about tithing really capturing the imaginations and thoughts of uh, many of our listeners today. Should we open the phone lines? Let's see if we can just pick like five calls. Uh, yeah, why not? All right. Okay, so 0302-216-541 or 055-1111-997. Right, where the, the conversation is all about tithing, and you know, uh, we're raising the issue of what the Bible says about tithing, and whether it matches what is done in modern Christian practice in many, many churches. And of course, the practice varies from church to church, right? That mm -hmm. is part of the problem. Uh, some churches don't even acknowledge that tithe must be paid, but others do, and they acknowledge it in a way that we all recognize, which is you bring 10% every month of what you earn. I give it to the church. Jonas is in Amasaman. Hi, Jonas. Hi. Yeah, yeah, good morning, good morning, Master Kujo. Ah, my brother, thanks for calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I didn't preach it. Uh, yeah. See, there's one thing all of us must understand. You see, when it comes to the issue of tithing, Christian is something they refer to as tithes. But in reality, Christians don't pay tithes. And I'll explain why. It is not even difficult to prove. What I would do, um, I have been tithes. And uh, since then, God instructed the people of Israel to pay tithes. It is true. But you see, it is not every tithe that we pay at church. Not every tithe. And I'm glad we read the Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 22 to 29. You see, the Jews had what we call the semiotic cycle. And in the semiotic cycle, you see, uh, uh, the high priest, or what in Ghana you refer to as the chief imam, you know, because they use the lunar calendar, the chief priest will declare this year as, let's say, the first year. 
And in the first year, all Jews will come and present their tithes to the uh, temple. But the second year tithes we don't bring it to church or to the synagogue. The third year tithe, we don't bring it to the synagogue. The second year tithe is what usually is referred to as the festival tithe. If you read the New Testament, you see that uh, uh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph went to Jerusalem, and we are told that Jesus got lost. Yes, you can see that that was the second year of the semiotic cycle. For that tithe, we will go to church and then the father or the husband who go and pay all these tithes at Jerusalem. The wife and the children are not covered in that tithe payment. Mm. Uh, that's quite a lot of information there, Jonas. I think perhaps we need a longer phone call to get the full uh, point there. But we want to take a few more calls from others, okay, Jonas? So let's allow a few more calls. Joseph is in Tema. Hi, Joseph. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. I hope you're doing well. Ah, managing, my brother. So, yeah, very quickly, your point on this one. Us, because um, whether being holiday or whatever, you, you are there for us. You are the one serving us, not those you are waiting for. I'm going to quickly. Um, I, I was once going to church and the money was the money was was meant for correction was given to a certain young guy with a mom and a sister on the roadside. They needed the money to go and eat. At first I didn't want to mind them but I was cash and I returned the money for them. Um I think the best Christianity practice at the other side and, and at the Western world is giving hands to the poor and needy. But here when the pastor is in need, you contribute for him. But when a layman then you say let's pray for him. So why can't you use the, uh, the, the offerings and the seeds and other ones to build the church so that um, the tithe will be used to help those who are in need? Mm, an interesting point. Thanks for making it, uh, Joseph. Uh, oh, we have Reverend Samuel calling us from North Tong. Reverend Samuel, good morning. Good morning, Pajo. Thanks for calling us. Yeah. Um, let me go straight to the point. In today's Christianity, we are using the Bible to export from our flocks. You see, the Bible we are holding has several dimensions in scope and context. The God factor, that of the prophets and apostles and the soldiers, and the Christ factor. The God factor, that gives us the laws that govern us as to what God wants us to do. When it comes to that, we say it's in the Old Testament, we neglect them. But that which talks about money, which is written by the apostles, the prophets, which suits our interest, we jump on that, and that is what we use to sway the flocks, like the titan. You see, when you go into Deuteronomy, the one that talks about how it should be disbursed, we jump over it, and then we align ourselves to the one which was giving warning to the Levites as to how they were disbursing the tithes. You get it? Jesus Christ, who we are saying has come, and the laws are no more, and we are under grace. When you read Matthew 5.17 going, he tells us that he is not here to do away with the laws, but to accomplish them. And he is not even to take off a dot, which is a dot from an eye from the laws. When you go to the same um, New Testament, the book of John, from five, uh, chapter 5, from verse 40 going, he still tells us why he is here on earth. And he told us, if we were to obey the laws that were given to Moses, his coming was not even necessary. But because we did not take into cognizance the laws of Moses, the same way we are not going to trust him and obey him, Hmm. I get your point. I really do get your point, Reverend Samuel. Thanks very much for sharing. Uh, let's talk to Joanna at McCarthy Hill. Hi, Joanna. Hi, Kojo. Hmm. Thanks okay, for calling us, Joanna. Joanna from Dalsman, which you know. No, the number don't change. Joanna, McCarthy. the line is not very clear. Uh, can you can you speak a bit louder and um, Are you maybe hearing walk me? away from the uh, radio? Are you hearing me? Yes, it's better now. Thank you. Okay, um, um, I will not waste time. I saw someone coming and I'm up at the mocker and I pay. 
Make a don you, but Jamo won't want your mass. Now, we are all go share your uncle. Touch paying is good, but leave it to those who want to pay. Those who doesn't want to pay, that one is their own priority. That's the only thing I'll say. Bye bye. Thank you, Joanna. Uh, do I need to translate the first part there? She said, uh, we, are, we are talking about things that involve pastors and preachers, and you know that always brings trouble. So we should just leave them to do things the way they wish. And then the rest she said in English, so I'm sure you understood. Uh, Abu Muhammad is calling us from Japan. Hi, Abu. Hey, good morning, Kujo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm also calling from the capital town of Northton, Japan. Fantastic. We love it. Yes. Yeah, me too. My understanding is the Bible is the word of God for mankind not only for Christians. The same thing, the Quran also is the word of God for mankind. That's what I want to say. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Abu Mohammed, who called us from Japan. And uh, your views are welcome too. 0302-216-541-055-1111-997. It's all the issue of tithing. And uh, we've, re- we've brought up some... Uh, aspects of the Bible that you almost never hear quoted in church. In fact, I have never heard any religious leader quoting Deuteronomy 14, 22 to 29 ever in my life. Ever. Ever. And I have been to many churches and watched many preachings and, you know, videos and so I Why do you want to hear that? Ever one? come up. Uh, well, Claude is in Tema. Hi, Claude. Good morning. Yeah, uh, Korean Western. Good morning. Yeah, morning. Yes. Um, I think tight is about giving. Uh, like you said, if it's the one of uh, events in the Bible, the sacrifice Jesus Christ did was a one of uh, events that covers us up to now. He gave his life. The apostles gave their lives. Some were killed. Those who established Methodist Church in Ghana came to Africa, lost their lives, and established the church. If we have to give even 10%, 20% to the work of God, which has established so many schools, hospitals that we are benefiting from. I don't think we should dispute. The issue is the management of the funds that should be put to the right use. But I don't think we should discourage anybody from giving towards the work of God, whether tithe, offering, or whatever it is. I think we need to give because the church is doing a lot for society. Thank you very much. Thank you, Claude. I think we agree with you. Nobody should be discouraged from giving. Give 50% of your salary if you want. It should be encouraged. Just don't call it tithe. Delali is in Adenta. Hi, Delali. Hi. How are you? Yeah, great to have you on the uh, on the show, uh, Delali. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are just somewhat that I will be honest with you. Speaking about 14, 15, 15. I believe that uh, most of our just decide intentionally to, you know, keep that part of the Bible and the, the, the principles of the inside. We are supposed to spend the time on ourselves. We praise God for that, for us what He has given us to spend on ourselves. But you find that at the end of the day, chastising members on not paying tithe, making them feel guilty to not pay tithe. We do believe that some Christians even. Contact now with members who have no old time, isn't just a matter. I mean, it's it's a fact. It's made a look at just the grabbing situation. And I I want to want to stop the very moment I saw that verse. I lied to you. When I saw that in church, I decided I wouldn't say that to in church to in pastor anymore. That is my take. And I believe that they should also go into the Bible for so that very The third year is for. Uh, how do you call it? Those those who do not do not have clients and you know maybe they say the the Levites. Mm, yeah, those are the, the underprivileged in society. Thank you, Delali. Um, uh, let's uh, hear from another caller from Tema. Here's Samuel. Hi, Samuel. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Mm, yes, um, very interesting topic. Uh, my take is that. The whole idea of tithing suggests that whatever we receive have come from God. And therefore, it's, it's for us to recognize that it is God that has given. Uh, secondly, I think we should also bear in mind that the Old Testament is, is a shadow 
of of the real thing, what happened when Christ came. And then we learn from the New Testament that God loves a cheerful giver. When you tithe and you believe in it, it works. But then it shouldn't be some it shouldn't be something that you need to do at all costs every month. Then it it it it it's no more a free will and out of the heart giving. I believe that whatever you do in the name of the Lord and you do it out of your heart, you will definitely have reward. Therefore, I I am not for or against tithing. I'm for giving cheerfully to the Lord. Thank you. I'm well. Uh, we've got Nana Kwesi in Medina. Hi, Nana Kwesi. Good morning. Yeah, how are you? Ah, not bad, my brother. You? I'm okay. <laughs> Did they more come after my meal? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I've always said that depending on who is reading the Bible and how they interpret it. And this morning, you see, what's happening between you and George has clearly, has clearly given me uh, if I've been, uh, if I've been, if I've indicated me with that. You see, so me, personally, nobody will convince me to do something because me, me and I read it myself. I read the whole thing and, and I get a better understanding. Titan, we are not discouraging anybody from contributing to the church. However, you shouldn't be based mandatory. That is where the problem is. Sometimes you are made to feel so sorry for yourself because you are not doing that in the church and the people that who pay it's like they use them as the aspect and they use it to sort of i don't know criticize you that is very unfortunate so let's leave it open if somebody decided that willingly i want to give my, give my whole my salary to the church well enough that way that person is doing it willingly but it shouldn't be done mandatory some of us are tight it won't go to the church it will never go to the church it should go to the people who need it People that when I see that I give to, I can see the benefit with my eyes. Me now, my eyes that I can see. So, Charlie, let's keep the conversation going. It's very good. Uh, and my advice to everybody look, when somebody reads the Bible and interprets it to you, go and read it to yourself. Not just that line. Read everything and ask yourself, what am I deducing from this to myself? It will help all of us. Mm, thank you so much. That's good advice, I think. Read the Bible for yeah. yourself, right? Uh, listen, it's a great note to end the conversation on, I think. Yeah, it's time yes, already. Yes, it's been such a wonderful show with you guys on this amazing holiday. Uh, we do wish you a very happy Easter. We hope you have a wonderful time with your families and your friends or whomever you're spending it with. And uh, let's let's congregate here tomorrow morning for another edition of yeah. the award-winning Super Morning Show. Uh, on behalf of the news team, by the way, we're apologize today um, there is no 10 o'clock bulletin but the subsequent bulletins will come on as advertised but listen you need to keep it locked here on joy uh, until we're back together again tomorrow my name is kojo yangson i'm the morning man and i'm winston i'm on happy easter no, I, oh.